ブラ発動。Hello,、uh, everyone. I am Ike Shamus, and I'm joined by my name is Soon Tanji, and we're here commentating the finals for Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax Ignition. Also known as DFCI, we have some really fun matches lined up today. We've had some characters that we don't normally see, and some new faces in top eight. So we're very excited to all、uh, have to commentate this top eight. You want to review like the characters that we have in top eight? Yes.、Yeah, so we have、uh, new interesting ones are Emmy from the series Devil's a Part Timer. We don't see typically too many Emmys, even though she is a strong character. We also have Tomoka, Ashana,、uh, two Yukis, two Yukis, and Quinter. And a Quinter. Yeah. Actually, two Quinters. Yeah. Actually, right here in the bracket,、um, you yeah, see Tamaki and Ida Guy. Tamaki plays Tomoka, and Ida Guy plays Quinter.、Yes. They will be our first match here in top eight, followed by Abister, who plays Shana, and Phosphate, who plays Yuki. Yes.、Uh, Tomoka is a is the basketball character. She specializes in set play.、Uh, Quinter is a character that specializes in doing huge chunks of damage. All at once,、uh, he requires a lot of resources. But every time he gets a hit with his resources, he can easily take 80% of a life bar away with that one hit. Yeah, he, he's a very、uh, resource-heavy character. But with the right game plan, he can be, be very explosive and take like 80% of your health. Yeah, it's, it's always a very interesting、uh, match because it feels like every time you fight a Quinter, you feel like you're fighting against a dynamite. Some、yeah. dynamite. And we're gonna see that in our first match、um, with Tamaki and Ida Guy.、Uh, Tamaki very well versed with. A lot of matchups. He's been playing this game since vanilla,、yeah. um, representing. I don't even know who it is on his pillow.、Uh, it's some girl from the boat game, Azure Lane. There's so many boat games now. Yeah, I think it's Azure Lane. Yeah, I think it's Azure Lane. But that that's his girl. That's his girl. And emotional support, Daki Makara. And、Hell、versus、yeah. I, that guy who's a very strong player in many games, strong player at Uni. Yeah, yeah, definitely.、Uh, so I'm very excited for this.、Uh, Tama is a former Climax of the Night champion. So he won the one. He won the very first one, and he got second at this at rerun. Yes. So, so one of the strongest DSI players in North America for sure. So I'm very interested to see how this goes. And with that, we're going to be starting with Quenter versus Tomoka. <laughs> My intros play out.、Yep. And they're already a bunch like they bunch like early, so we're going right into it. Going right into it. Yep. So for those who don't know, this game is、uh, you pick a point character, but then you also pick your assist, and your assists have a dramatic impact on the gameplay.、Uh, currently,、uh, Tamaki's running Jokuro, which is one of the best assists for Tomoka, and I that guy is running Mashiro, which is a very good neutral assist for Quinter. So、um, um, Tamaki actually used his power up blast very early on. That's kind of the key.、Um, Key game gameplay strategies in this game is to use your power blast to get meter, and then sort of like use that meter to apply your pressure、yes. throughout the game. So right now, I that guy is at a disadvantage because he does not have any resources. He's still staying on his blast. Yes. Oh, and that is very bad for Quinter. Escape blasting means your blast takes longer to get back, which means it takes you longer to get that meter. And Quinter needs meter to get his damage. Quinter、yeah. without meter is one of the weakest characters in the game. Yeah, you can sort of look at it on, the, on like the blast gauge. You can sort of see his highlight in red. It's going very slowly in comparison to Tama's, but it does go faster the lower health he has. Yes. And Tama just hit what we call a trump. It is an attack that. Basic that does a lot of damage. It's an air unblockable overhead, and when he hits it, he gets put into a power up state where he does more damage. He can reverse meet, which means he can go from C to B normals, and just makes and can call assists for free. Yeah, right now, Tama hit that 5B air unblockable. Um, got um, Quinter stuck in the corner of Tomoka's set play, and now it's all in the round two. Yes, Quinter. I mean,、uh, Tomoka is the set play character of the game. Once you get knocked down, you probably won't get up. You need that life alert. Yeah, Tomoki's game plan is to get you in the corner and keep you in the corner. Wow, Quinter's game plan is to get resources and hit you for big damage. Oh,、so. with the power blast, that's not good. You get less, you get less meter when you whiff the power up blast. Yeah, but fortunately, he does have the damage buff and is going to get、uh, good damage off of this. This man, yeah, there we go. So right now, as, as we mentioned before, Quinter does explosive damage. So we got Tamaki basically. Oh, get the 4AB. That's a universal overhead. He's gonna kill. This is gonna be death. Yeah. A, oh. Oh, he,、um, his his potential ran out, so he、uh, didn't get the the assist call. All right, very good round by I, that guy. He is struggling a bit for resources, but he will have blast back shortly. So if he can land a power up blast, he'll be in a fairly good position. But Tomoka does have full resources, and that is a very strong place to be in this game. That's、uh, so、right here. Tomoka uses Trump to push I, that guy closer to the corner.、Oh. A lot of times he'll end combos. This is going to be just to do this that. This is going to be a, a dirty.、Oh. That that that's a cross up setup. So he pulled Quinter just out of the corner, so he could do a left right mix. Yeah, very dirty. Yeah, very hard. And I think there was also cross up break too. Yeah. 
Uh, so just, right now, it's really bad for Attica because he has no resources right now. Tomaki has everything. Yes. This is going to be very a big uphill battle. It's oh. actually over. Yeah, this is death. Unless Tomaki drops the... I don't think he can drop 5 AB into Super unless... True. I mean, there are input air, you know, some of them input errors, but I don't think Tomaki is going to do that. And ends it with the row Q, Bo. All right, that's one one game for Tama. One game for Tama right this now. This is the first to two. I wonder how I, that guy will adapt. I think he can play. I think he does also have a Celti assist for Quinther, but he mainly plays Mashiro. Yeah. Quinther has a lot of assists that can work for him. So yeah. it's really a matter of like what he decides to use against Tomoko. Very true. I Generally, you would think I would think you'd want to pick one of the defensive assists against Tomoka that really help. Okay, he's picking Celti, and Celti is a bit, kind of a good counter pit against um, Tomoka. That is a very, that, I use Celti, so yes, it feels really good to play Celti against Tomoka because you have a very fast uh, neutral um, assist. assist that uh, moves fast across the screen that can really snipe Tomoka out of calling the Perfect. basketball. Yeah. And also, defensively, you can call it in Trump to have her come down from the sky and hit Tomoka while she's trying to set play you. Yeah, right now, it doesn't matter because um, Tomoka's game plan is already starting. In the corner already. He has oh, to find a way out. Oh. Found, found a way out, but got the push block. Uh, 2C. Out of the corner. Yeah, now he can this is that. a very good confirm. He has enough resources to do some good damage here. Gonna do the Michael. Oh, calling oh, it Salty like, for the Oki. Salty is one of the best assists in the game. Uh, very strong in every respect. Strong in neutral, strong in Oki. Very good universally. All right, optimal combos back into the corner. Yeah, back into the corner, hard knockdown. Tomoka gets a very good setup off of this. That's so dirty. It. Oh, yeah. uh, another setup that goes away even if Tomoka gets hit. I mean, that does not that stays on the screen even yeah. if Tomoka gets hit. So it makes it very difficult to deal with that pressure. So the, 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 a lot of the difficult things with fireworks is because um, you want to look out for so many things, but you can only do so many things as well. So like if you try and crouch it to avoid fireworks, you can go like four AB. Universal overhead, but you can also go for grab too, which you need to stand to tap. Yeah, there, there is you cannot crouch second this game, so you have to be standing, and that with and that's uh, what's on crouching, but hits on standing, so it just opens you to a world of mix. It's messed up. <laughs> oh, got the grab. Oh, nice this grab. is good. This is good for I, that guy. He is he is down on escape blast though, unfortunately, which means he's going to be struggling for resources. Yeah, he's not going to do a lot of damage right now. He, he should have ignited his blast, honestly. Very true. This is very important for Quinter to have on point resource management, otherwise he becomes a very weak character. Oh, and he got got his grab baited. Oh, here comes a here comes a setup. Yeah, it's the not cross over yet. up break. That can either depending on how off where Tomoka jumps over you, that can hit on either side with the assist. Oh, this is death. It's over. Yeah. And row Q bow. All right, and that's match one yep. going to Tamaki. Tamaki clean, very nice play from Tamaki. Very just setting up his game plan, getting the knockdown, running his mix. I, that guy did play well. It's just some resource management issues made him constantly in an uphill battle situation. Of course. Let's see, and next we're probably going to have Abby versus Phosphate. Yes, there are two OGs at the game. Uh, yeah, yeah. Phosphate has been playing since Vanilla, not necessarily Yuki. Of course, he had any key, his first characters like Kirito and Rentaro. Oh, well. If I remember correctly. And then he eventually landed on Yuki when Ignition came out. Yeah, Yuki is considered to be the best character if you don't factor in assists in the game. Mm. She has really good pressure. She can, in her trump mode, she can jump cancel all of her special moves. She can air dash cancel. And it just opens up a world of hurt. Yeah, she bene she benefits the most out of Trump benefits. Yes. Um, just like inherent Trump benefits and like what it gives to her. Mm -hmm. uh, Shauna kind of benefits from it as well. Maybe not as much as Yuki, but she can be very explosive very and true. just as dangerous in Trump as Yuki. Very true. And so we'll be seeing it in our next match. Mm -hmm. um, Abister, the um, the champion from last year, actually, um, Phosphate, a. Um, He's a strong player. I think um, last year he got a little um, matchup experience. Um, he got um, sent out by Abby and level 5 Chan. Yes. Uh, Miyuki. But it's been a year. Oh, it's been like two years. It's been like, yeah, it's been two years. I yeah. Um, we, we have, you know, a new transmission with rollback. So a lot more experience with the game, a lot more players exposed to it. Yes, yeah, so we can play from longer distances with yeah. less input delay, which makes it very helpful for training. Also, for those Canadians, Abby is from Canada. So yeah. if you want to root for your boy from Canada, Abby's your boy. Abby is probably the most decorated DFCI player uh, and is very strong. And I would say he is the person to beat in this tournament. Uh, 100%. Yes. Like, he's 
probably a favorite to win. I, I feel like um, it's him, Abby, and maybe Phosphate. Yes, I would say Abby, Tom, and Phosphate are the ones that are in contention to take the whole thing the yeah. most. So, uh, win from Phosphate would be an upset in the tournament. It, it would be mm, not a big one. It would be an up, it would, I would I would understand. Yeah, I would understand it. And he's he's getting his courage juice out. And well, whatever he needs to. Yeah, be, he's plugging. FGC specialties. Oh god. <laughs> All right. We're going to see two very cheap characters right now. <laughs> yeah. Yugi and Shauna are two of the best characters in the game, have really big normals, really intense mix-ups, high damage. Especially with these two teams that are happening. These are two of the strongest teams in the game. Yeah, Abby's not playing the most optimal Shauna team, but because of Abby's familiarity with the game, and Wilhelmina not even being a bad assist herself, it's still a very strong and threatening team. Yeah, I would say Wilhelmina's Shauna's second best assist after Tatsuya. Yeah, I can see that. Just have really helped with neutral and still keep Shauna's really good damage. All right, nice Fire Blast from Phosphate. Also the Cannon team. Ooh, Wheel. Oh, Power Blast. This is going to be a knockdown into Oki. All right, one jump gone. One jump gone. That's very good for Abby. Oh, the Abby meaty gurning the... Yeah, got, got him on the um, corner air attack. Yes. Here he is. Very good defensive assist. Gets the conversion. 2AB, jump cancel. Yuki can jump cancel that in Trump. All right, now Eerie a fun time. Actually, now he's going right into Super. So for those who don't know about Blue Trumps, since there are two types of Trump, both of you here have Blue Trump, which means it's more of like a spot dodge that pauses the screen that makes you invincible. Very strong defensively and enhances some traits about their moves a little bit more than the Red Trump character. For anyone who's playing type movement, just think of it the same as like Moon Drive. Eerie Fireworks, when Eerie, the assist that Phosphate is using, gets three bowls out, uh, you get a damage boost, you get a huge damage boost, and damage, you get defense boost, boost, and you get an air unblockable fireworks. That hit full screen. Yeah. Very. Actually full screen. Yeah. Yes. They do have a max height, but from left to right, they're happening. All right, round two right now. Um, very much. Tsukimori trying to, get, trying to get a hit in so he can start his game plan, but Abby got the initial hit. Low from a 5A B into Trump to get that pressure going. Of oh, 5A mash. Fuzzy 5A, let's go. They're in a very strong priority move. Optimal combo with the mix. This is gonna oh he dropped the no, combo. He dropped it. Not that quite yet, but very close. Just one more hit or grab. So game one goes to Abister. Very true. And it's getting more energy. More power. Redacted energy. All right, go on to match two. No, no switch. So you see no reason to switch. I mean, uh, Yuki can definitely deal with this matchup, and especially Yuki area. Oh, of course, it's easily the strongest team in the game. Yeah. Gonna go for the mix, most likely. This is a very dirty mix. This will be a left-right mix. Oh, nope, just going for a simple meaty one. Oh, oh, power blast. Nice damage. punch in the power of blast. Let's go. That's very good. Already three fireworks. This is going to be death, probably. Oh, very no. close. Oh, very close. close. I, if you had two bars, missed, if you had two bars, it would have definitely been yeah. death. Oh, five B air muggle. Oh, he oh, dodged it. Nice. Dodged it. Five B, five and two B moves are air unblockable in this game, which means you can do unblockable setups like that if someone's in the air. All right. And while while this, um, Abby is in a very tight spot, this is very doable for him. Yes. He has the momentum right now. Shauna has the damage to do this. Like, he, he has a blast, he can do a combo blast? Like, he's got this. Oh, as you see, he did combo blast. Oh, Yuki buttons. Oh, oh nice. Oh, AB. You use Area 6S um, to sort of protect him while going for, yep. a, for AB, universal overhead. And that's another strong point about Area. Like, in, in Trump, you can use her 6S as a defensive tool because oh. it comes right from behind. All right, they're both in power blast right now. Because they're both not really moving forward, they're not getting as much meter gain from it, but it's okay. Yeah. All right, here All right, here set up. Oh, Abby hit. 
uh, did not, uh, Frosty did not get the ball. This is gonna be a knockdown into a mix with Wilhelmina. He's fine right now? Yeah, just so those know, Wilhelmina does not go away after a certain amount of time, even if Heavy gets hit, so it's a really good Abare option. All right, knockdown into area setup. Grab. Oh. Oh. Okay. Blocked. As you see, Abby got hit, but Wilhelmina still came out. Oh. Okay, he had to blast. It has escape blast, otherwise he would have lost that this game. Oh, oh I thought he was big. gonna trump. But he's probably standing for next round, so yeah, he has two trumps. Yeah. So right now he's he's very good on resources for next round. Very good. Like he has he has power up blast on deck, he has two trumps, three bars of meter. It, it's very frequent at this level of play for players not to try to actually win the second round, but just gather as much resources as they can and waste their opponent's resources for the next round. Yeah, to dominate for the last round. So as you can see right now, Abby is you know, having to take, make risk to get out, but he, he has a blue trump, so it's okay. Oh, got the power blast combo. And now the game's even. Now, now the game's even, as you see, they both have really good resources. Although, Phosphate does have two trumps, which is very, very strong. Yeah, so he does, he does have another pause on his on his belt. Phosphate doing a really good job of policing Wilhelmina, as you saw right there. I right, think he tried to go for Ogi, but he missed area. Missed area, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. the clash. Super. All right, one more guess. Yeah, one more guess. Pause the game. Here we go. Oh. This could probably kill. I, I think it could. Because you need to get combo blast. Well, Will Hamina. Combo blast. Boom. Yep. Super. Yeah, so also, whenever you use EX moves, you gain 10% on your blast gauge. So. Sukimori didn't have enough for combo blast initially, but through the um, series of com um, EX moves, he was he had enough to get enough for the combo blast. Very true. So we're at one one right now. This, I, uh, Sukimori made the adjustment. Oh, big gamble at the beginning. Oh, wasted some meter though. Trying to probably hit the area for bolt pressure. Yeah. Oh, oh no, got skate oh, blast. Oh, this is not good for Sukimori or phosphate. Oh, grabs the trump. This now this is not good for Abby. Got hit. This oh. I mean, it, it's a bad situation for Suki Mori, just not having meter, but it's Yuki can do it. Yuki can do it. That and Iria. Oh, oh no, he got hit from the double jump. Oh, Abby, Abby dropped it. It's a little too high. Oh. Oh. Okay, call Iria. Do the air chase. Oh, Yuki using that trump jump cancel. She gets on all her special moves. Oh, whiffs. Abby is very lucky right now that Suki Mori doesn't have much butter to work with. Yeah, but it's, oh, it's still very rough for Abby right now. Oh, he's this could die. This could be death. No, he he escaped blast. Yes. One more shot. Oh. Oh. oh just just do it again. Just do it again. Two AB. Yuki's reversal. It's very big, very fast, very hard to avoid. All right, so Phosphate ignite his his um his blast and doing that removes the cooldown from his earlier escape blast and gives him fifty percent towards it. Abby's doing a really good job of taking advantage of the fact he can hit with his five C so far out that he can two AB and have Yuki's five uh, two AB with right. Yeah, Yuki's um two AB being a really large, probably the strongest two AB in the game. Abby needs to be spaced perfectly to avoid it and punish it. Yeah. Taking advantage of Shauna's very big buttons. Oh, oh, what a criminal! Just sending it. I got the 5B air unblockable there. Sukimori did not trump, or Phosphate did not trump. Alright, Abby avoids six area of defensive success. Alright, Reed Bean just to keep himself safe. Is this death? He has comp, he has blast! Yes, he, he combo blast? Super. It's dead. And uh, with the upset. Sugimori with the upset. Really made those adjustments, taking advantage of Yuki Iria's damage and just synergy. The Soju power. The Soju power. Maybe that's the secret. Well, uh, we, we don't condone it. Very good match from both of them. The, just Sugimori really played well and managed to get around him waste uh, misplaying some resources, which is very impressive. Yeah, that earlier escape blast during round one was very hindering, but he was able to make it work and just play solid enough to mm -hmm. mitigate it. Yeah. So, so very fun. I think when next we're going to have... Loser size. I think we have side? Mouse and Ultra Kill player, which is also Penguin. Okay. So yeah, Penguin. Penguin is another OG at this game. 
Uh, yeah, I guess like an older player. Yes, like, older player plays this game a lot. He's played with very plays with Sugimori a lot. Yeah, he's also he's a has he have a lab monster too. Yes, very lab monster. He's given me a lot of the tech I use. <laughs> so um, knows Yuki very well. He plays a different Yuki team. He plays Yuki Wilhelmina, which is Yuki's second best team in my opinion, but still very strong. Y Yuki and, has like if you told me a Yuki team, it's probably strong. Uh, Yuki and the dude from Excel World. I mean, more than, like the top assist, like okay, a popular yeah, yeah, yeah. common like assist in the game, like yeah. Gokuro, Celti, yes. Wilhelmina. Yuki's Yuki very strong, but like Wilhelmina is definitely like one of just really helps synergize with Yuki. Yeah, definitely, hundred percent. Gives Yuki access to a lot of damage, a lot of dirty setups that really hard to block. Just put your opponent in the blender and kill them. Right. Now, Yuki dangerous. Yeah, versus a Tomoka thing. I think this is mouth with a Tomoka. Yeah. People are drinking water. Water, yes. Stay hydrated. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not as hydrated as um, Hengen, but you know. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. I think. Okay, they're gonna do, they're just gonna do mines here. Right, so we have Tomoka, who we saw in match one against Yuki, with a different a different game plan. Yep. Tengen trying to figure out how to do headphones with a mask on. Very true. He'll get it eventually. Technology Stealing his hard. opponent's headphones because his opponent doesn't want to use headphones. He oh, wants, nice. His opponent mouse, a uh, Tomoka player, probably wants to crowd energy. Right. Because, let's be honest, even though Yuki's cool to watch, she's always the villain. She's C tier, from what the community likes to call it. Yeah, no, no I mean, Yuki's always the villain. Tomoka's going to be the hero. Uh, Tomoka is a very strong character. Uh, all butt check. This is what true Dengeki gameplay looks like. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to characters. And blast. And for those at home, um, picking the blast is basically like a cheerleader, but the main thing they were looking for are like the blast type they choose. Yeah. Increases the radius of the blast for that specific blast type. Mm -hmm. All right, so good start from Tengit for Ultra Kill player. So a lot of time in matches, you actually want to combo into your power blast so you get the full benefits of it. And a lot of times that's done by using one bar meter first. Very true. Uh, yeah, so Dokoro is the same assist Tama was using. It just gives it's probably Tomoka's best assist. Oh, of course. It gives like the set play, it gives like neutral control. Helps cover all of Tomoka's weaknesses. Yeah, because Tomoka not very good, doesn't really have a good reliable anti air. Dokoro kind of covers that air for her. Very true. Oh, run up grab. Oh. And even though Tomoka is a set play character, well, Yuki Wilhelmina has equivalently nasty set play. It's just it's on an assist cooldown. And with that 5AB, gets the anti-air and wins round one. A very rough start for Mouse right now, but he can still bring it back. Going for it, jump. Applying that pressure, delay normal trying to catch a button match. Oh, nice grab, grab on the strong. Let's go. Ooh, that was a... And in the corner, Ooh. this is what Tomoka wants. She wants the corner. Oh, oh, but defensive oh, Wilhelmina call. Wilhelmina outplayed. That's what we call that. Now Penkin oh. has the corner. Oh, didn't get the corner set up. There's a corner 50-50 where you can left right them. All the way to Yuki. Very nasty. Yeah, visually the deceptive. You have to really know the small details about yep. it. What setup? Oh, flash cancel. Oh, got the low. Oh, I escape blast. Oh, escape blast. Now, so there's, yeah, there we go, oh. grab. I'll try to Very OTG. intense. Oh, the mash. Oh, here's another. Wilhelmina. Playing very solid now. Very solid. Just Both players. Oh. oh, the read did not pan out. He doesn't know how to read. Illiterate. Yes. Thought Mouse was a book, but that was incorrect. Going through. Oh, run up 5A. Classic. Gets the knockdown. Going to be in the corner. Calling Wilhelmina. Gets the same power blast. 
And Penguin has two two trumps, so he has two he can be very offensive this is, in this match. This is very good in Penguin's favor right now. Gets the left, right. right. There we go. Oh, backdash. Ooh, that's a good answer. Good call out from Mouse. I guess oh. grab though. Now this is going to be another left, right. Stay same side oh, this two time. AVs. Missed the grab. Probably grabbed a little too early. Oh, gets the 4 AV to go over the low mash. Oh, oh commit is very punchable. Just decided to send it. Does not pan out. This is going to be a very tough situation for Penguin. And now Tumble goes in the corner, has exactly what you want. Oh, grabs the trump. Oh, calling Wilhelmina for the neutral control. Oh, oh what a criminal. Outplayed. Let's go. Trading assist. Oh, could have had that actually. The rainbow is air unblockable. Still pinging time. Nice tech. <gasps> and nice oh, run up the 2A. run up 2A from Mouse catching Penguin off guard. Penguin does not look happy about that round or that game. Or he, he had... doesn't know why he's here. Yes, you saw that bottle. Yeah, you, you saw know. the bottle. He, he, met, he, this may just be a dream to him right he now. He might be have been a little too hydrated. He's somewhere right now. Yeah. Power blast, really good start. Oh, just oh. run up for AV while he's in the air. What? Yeah. That is a very difficult confirm. When you hit someone in the air with 4AV, for some reason, I don't know why it tends to drop, but it's always very interesting when it does. Oh, oh the this. stagger. Penguin corner. playing with fire, playing with on fire right now. Really just getting all the reads he needs. Oh, this, this is it. not going to kill, but this is going to give him a knockdown. Nice oh. grab. Now he's going to... And this is going to... He didn't spend all the meter, though. Nope. Okay, now it's gone. <laughs> all right. Got that perfect. A uh, very strong round from Penguin. Really trying to send a message to Mouse. But Mouse has full resources for round two, so he definitely secured his round. Very true. What's nice about this is that Penguin can spend the trump and then still have two next round if he keeps it to one trump. Yeah, just trying to apply pressure to Mouse to make him commit and waste all his resources for the next round. Very nice conversion from Mouse. All right, Rambu, go Rambu. ahead and get that hard knockdown situation for him. This gives Tomoka a very good setup in the corner. Gives the fireworks. Oh, nice grab. Oh, this is going to be damage. I'm surprised he didn't really... The mash. I thought he would have landed and called Doko to catch the up tech. Oh, the oh, no, this could be bad. He, he did waste his escape blast, so he cannot escape any dangerous situations that Penguin might put him in. But he does just need, like, one or two good hits. Tomoka JC, one, that umbrella move, very strong move. One more good hit now. Two, one more good hit. <laughs> this time for sure. There we go. <laughs> oh, last round, one mouse take it. All right, good, connect the blast, there we go. Removes the cooldown. So he went to round two with five bars, but now he has one bar. So, But he still has a blast coming back, so he'll have good resources soon. Very true. All right, going for setup. Or just put, put him in the corner. Nice. Trump to get out. Trump to get out. Gets the Oki. Oh, oh he missed it. the left, right. Oh, but gets to go again. Can you try one more time? No, dropped it. Drops it, but had Wilhelmina to cover him in case he got hit. Oh. Solid hit. Not going to kill, but it will do a lot of damage. Unless he escape blast. I think it's good cover. Oh, yeah, this is going to go. Yeah, 100%. Making sure of it. It might be close. It might be pixel. Yeah, just just a little bit over. Just a little bit, you know? Def be Penguin has his game face on. Given, given the piece to the camera, he now he's smiling. Now he's feeling good. He's feeling good. He's back to reality. No. Right, so going to third match. Got kind of neutral. Uh, they, okay, Penguin gets two, the, the first advantage. Two C. Oh, it gets power blast. Very good round start. Oh, the grab. Nice. 4AB is only minus two, so it's not a pure lose your turn situation. Yeah, it's not plus, but it does have its risks when you try to take your turn after it. Oh, uh, gets the knockdown. Wilhelmina call. All right, standard Dengeki. Oh, did not get the hard knockdown from it. 
Oh, he could have ended it if he got that confirmed there. In that situation, he needs to um, push block the horizontal square so he can punish Very true. on the whip. Yes, getting that 5 B. Oh, this is going to be a good setup for Tomoka. A lot of damage from Trump. It's very, it's very grim, but it's possible. It's very possible. That is true. Tomoka does have comeback potential due to her Oki strength. Oh, nice challenge. Oh, spending that escape blast to uh, to try to get the win. Oh, wasted Trump. No, he still has one Trump only. Oh. Oh. Don't grow. Please, go, don't grow. <laughs> Oh. Let's go! Oh. Just ignite your blast. Okay, cool. Very, very good mount round for Mouse. Coming and bringing it back. Yeah, it's a very grim match, for, grim round for him, but he made he made it come back. Nice, oh. nice Rambu. Wake up, Rambu. Got so, the reads. So for those at home, like a lot of times in fighting games, you'll use like a wake up super to sort of challenge like those oh. kind of buttons. And, and Dengeki Rambu is the only one with Invul. The fireworks. Oh, this is not going well for Penguin. Penguin really has to put, um, really force, him, force himself in. Oh, nice nice grab on the Trump. Mouse is getting a little rep oh. trying to use a Trump this, to Now it's it possible for Penguin to bring this back. He has the resources to do it. Oh, this is going to be... Oh, nice challenge. That's oh, fake. This is going to be death. Yeah, I think Mouse got a little too. Um, Mouse felt. Nas was feeling himself a little bit too much. Feeling himself Final panicking round. a little bit. He wasted a jump defensively, which he didn't really do before. He tried to throw it in there, but Penguin was already on top of it. Yep. All right, so what was pre previously a good advantage for Mouse is now an advantage for Penguin. Mm -hmm. Or Ultra Kill player. Yeah, very true. Oh. 2 AB. This is going to be a big, good setup. Knockdown into Wilhelmina. Oh, got the air, da air glide. Oh, mix up. I, um, Mouse got himself out of the corner and put Penguin in the corner, or Ultra Kill player in the corner. corner. This is going to be a good setup for Tomoka. Going to probably do fireworks off the drum. Yep. Nice oh. beat. This is damage. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Oh, oh, oh. oh, left oh drop the kill. Oh, oh. Drop the this kill. Is, this can kill. This can kill. This can kill. It's over. It's over. It's over. Oh, oh he dropped it. No, oh. what are you doing? Oh, with the come, with the drop to the win. So many drops happening. Checking that power up juice. It's very unfortunate for Mousy had it, and then Penguin. No, Penguin had it, and then Mouse had it, and then Penguin finished it. Yeah, very good match. And I think after that, that was very good. That's like what we love to see in the Geki. Yeah, Mouse missed a hit confirm. He didn't necessarily get that hit, but he thought he did, so he went straight into the confirm, which is very unsafe on block, so very unfortunate situation for Mouse. Could have had that, but yeah, Penguin will be moving on. Very good play for Mouse. Um, next we'll have Rain versus Straylight P. Straylight. And then after this we'll have a short break. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so um, we have um, Quinter coming back and facing against Emmy. All right. Georgia cheering on their, their players. Georgia, one of the secret dens of DSCI. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's like a a region that has that's like primary for DSCI is probably Georgia. Yes. Rain is, plays Quinter. Arguably the best Quinter in North America. He's yeah. in losers because he lost to Abister. Yeah, which is, you know, Arguably best player in North America. Yes, so uh, very was very good match. Rain almost sent Abby to losers. So Rain is I would put Rain to make it very far in this tournament. Oh yeah, I can definitely see it. I'm not sure what kind of experience Rain has against Emmy though, because Straylight P is probably one of the only Emmy players. Yeah, the only Emmy I would dare to say probably the best Emmy player because there's like one or two. Yeah. yeah there's, there's very few Emmy players in Straylight P, not only being one of the only ones, but one of the strongest, no, basically a strong one. Yes. Uh, uses uh, Emmy area, very strong team. Nice. It says screw me, screw audio. Yeah, screw audio. All right, they're gonna do a quick button check here. Or they're, 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 they're deciding how they're gonna do it. Okay. 
So we'll, we'll see when it happens. All right, here we go. All right, just going right into it. Getting that for you. All right, nice hit from Syria success. Oh, this is a good conversion, good knockdown. Very good knockdown. This is going to be a very patient game because both these characters are technically zoners. Oh, it gets the cross up. Gunther does have a good cross up button, which is rare in this game. So a lot of people forget they have to deal with it. Oh, ni nice snipe from Gets the power beat. blast, wants that meter. Oh, the trade air. Emmy is the most classic Shoto in this game. Oh, fireball game, DP, good anti airs, default, solid fundamentals. Oh, this is going to be big damage. This could possibly kill. Uh, talking about the player matchups, um, Straylight P does have Demba in New York that he has a lot of Quentin experience against. So I think he has a big advantage in this, this matchup right here. Very true. Rain dropping a combo. Rain must have some nerves. Spending meter just to keep himself safe. Just. Area. Oh, oh, he oh. used Trump to keep himself safe. Oh, good, great play from Rain. Although, oh, oh, the whiff. Oh, no. what, a, what, a, what a drop, unfortunately. Oh, he's going to try to use this to get a mix. Oh, didn't get the power blast punish. Oh, what a, what a DP. That didn't have any fun to finish it, though. Push block. Cool. It's good pressure. But this is now just a one night game. Rain's uh, going to try to lame it out for the clock. Oh, oh Rain nice with hit. the falling JC, getting, winning the round. This is very good for Quenzer. Quenzer really needs to win that first round. All right, safe, safe power up blast. Oh, DP again. But luckily, he had combo blast ignited, so he he doesn't have a, a suffering cooldown. Yep. Uh, very good. Havia in. This is scary for Gunther. Oh, air unblockable. All right, just Stray Light P trying to be a little patient because, you know, one hit from Rain could smell death. And I think Stray Light P is at a health right now where he, he'll just die if he gets hit. Oh, grab attack. Oh, nice area call, but, you know, Stray Light P still has to be very careful. One hit could mean death. One good hit, anyway. Yeah, Rain, try, Rain usually tries to build as much meter as possible during a round. Maybe during the second round. But um, oh, so oh. he did put out consideration igniting blast during round one, so he can't escape blast and have oh. a second chance at life if he does get hit. All right, just very patient, just very staring patient. each other down. It's both, both players don't want to be too aggressive because they could both die from one hit from each other. So if he tried to grab, I'm um, trying to bait a grab right there. Very patient. All oh, the cross up hitbox saving went there from a run. Oh no, got a oh. hit. Oh, power blast. It's over. It's over. It's over. Oh. Straylight playing that timeout game. This is the most patient DSCI I've seen. Yes. People really don't like to be patient in this game, but Rain is not afraid to block. Round start, Havia. This is going to be so damage, much damage. Big damage. All right. Rain doesn't have oh. to do the burst safe version, which does a lot more damage. Let's do it. Combo blast, Trump. No, just, just one more hit after oh, this will kill. Oh, he had to do the cancel. No, 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 it won't, it won't kill. It won't kill. Or maybe? No, 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 won't kill. But very, very, very close though. All right, one oh! shot, no shot. Cross up, the corner cross up. Wasn't just in the corner. Very good play from Ryan. Very close. That those first two rounds were very patient on both ends, and very it just true. ended in like a flash. And a scramble, yeah. That third round, and that's kind of the situation you want to avoid very true. when facing against. Um, Oh, he's going Asuna. They're going Asuna. His Asuna Salty, one of the staple teams of DFCI. Very strong. I play that team. You play that team. Yeah. 
Both very familiar. I, used to. I mean, secrets. Secrets. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how strong his Austin awesome Celti is. I feel like Emmy. This is a very hard matchup for Quinter, though. I would say because Austin is really fast. Can five AB through Havia. Uh, Celti just is really good at catching landing lag from Quinter. This is a very hard matchup for Quinter. As you see right there, just right. five S going across the stream. But um, oh. But Rain um, getting the combo. Strategy does have to be very careful because Austin's do like to run up to A and just a nice push block from Quenter into Havia can definitely just smell death for Austin. Yes, and Rain has all the resources he needs to win this round. And he already, he's already at a near win condition. Oh, this is a bad starter, but this is going to be a lot of damage. Oh, nice got tech. the grab tech. Oh, oh nice trump. Austin a trump, the, one of the best trumps in, red trumps in the game. Very good anti air. All just to stare down. I think he's very, um, very careful about you know any push block attempts from Rain. Oh, and this is going to be death most likely. Let's see here. Yeah, because he can have combo blast as well. Oh, and then five AB. Five AB. Oh no, no, no he's doing the grenades. Alpha. Trump. There we go. Michael Bay combos. Let's go. Explosive damage, quite literally, in every way you think about it. Very explosive. We call him Michael Bay because he loves those explosions. Uh, Should I be, be thinking very long and hard about this? Uh, I would say Blast is a good option because that way you can escape Blast Quinter and force him to do the uh, Burst Save version that does a lot less damage. Right. Oh, got the grab. This is going very well for Rain right now. Oh, oh very bad to AB. Ooh, Not, I don't think that would have been a good point to. Oh, I would have preserved it for later, but. The strength of Austin and Celti in this situation is that Austin's really good at spending one bar in the knockdown with that perfectly sets up for Celti Oki. Very good. Both players is playing patient. Rain is trying to clip. Yeah, see, so Rain off of a. Oh, no. Oh, it, this can kill. It's, it's going to. I think this it's going to kill. kill. This is going to kill. All right, let, let's just wait. Let's, let's see. Just If he doesn't get the drop, this is killing. That's for sure. Bum, Michael bum, Bay bum, combos. Bum, bum, bum. Yep. yep. And Dead. Rain takes it against Starlight. The Beth Quincer NA takes good, it against our life. Good, good showing from Straylight. I feel like Straylight. I feel like his his Emmy was much stronger. I do feel like his Emmy was much stronger, and I do feel like Emmy might have a slight advantage because you can just throw fireballs at him. Yeah, exactly. I feel like his Emmy is much more polished, while his Asuna is fundamentally solid, but still neat. Still has some refinement that it could use. Yeah, very true. A good showing from Straylight. He definitely improved significantly yep. since the last time he was here. Yes, he is. We didn't get to see any of his really cool Emmy tech because Rain was doing such a good job of keeping him in control. But yeah. he definitely knows his character, and I'm excited to see. I hope he plays the game more. He probably will. Yep. But we, you know, it'll be a while since Dengeki is in, <laughs> at a lot of majors and tournaments. Um, it may it may be a while until we see him again. Maybe see Otaku. Yeah, but I mean, we do have a Discord, so you can join the Discord and get some matches. We have rollback. Yeah, yeah. Just look up like Blast Select on um, on Twitter, and there'll be a link to the Discord there. Um, Blast Select not really used right now because uh, we don't have a good sp way of spectating, but. Yeah, but it works. It works, yeah. And Very good rollback. And with that, I think we'll be going to break. Yeah. Uh, Two more matches? Okay. Uh, okay. So next up, we have, do we have like the, the rest of losers next? We have two more matches, I think. Yeah, so probably the rest of losers? Yeah. So I believe it would be uh, Mouse against Tama? Okay, mouse against Tama, yeah. Oh no, I see Abby going up to the stage. You have two more. You have two more losers. Abby versus Penguin. Penguin, or Ultra Kill player. I'm still gonna call him Penguin. I, I just, I can't really do the meme names unless they stick with it for a long term. Yeah, people like to change their name in this community a lot, so it's hard to tell. Like Phosphate also goes by Sugimori. Yeah. Penguin also changes his name a bunch. Uh, for fun meme names, but I will still call him Penguin. But if you feel like calling him Ultra Kill Player, it's on the screen um, yeah. whenever he's up, so you know. Whatever you decide. Oh, he's playing, he's playing Graham Blue. <laughs> he's going to do. Oh, this is an Abby special. He likes to play Graham Blue. He's, he's played Graham Blue against people and have. It's still oh good. my god, they're in raids! Let's they're go! They're in raids! <laughs> This is a true match. 
These are true anime players. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is no longer a Dengeki stream. It's a um, Grand Blue fantasy okay. stream. The Grand Blue fantasy. Oh my God! I don't know what do I don't know what fight that what fight that is. It's been so I, I I quit Grand Blue so long ago, but I think they're comparing damages. <laughs> they're comparing damages. Oh, you refreshed it. <laughs> Refreshing. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Go. Gotcha players. Gotcha players are insane. So while they're finishing up their grand blueing, um, yeah, we I, we've seen both these players. They're both very strong players. Yeah, I, th I think Abby probably has the edge here, just because of his proficiency in the game compared to Pengen. But who knows? Pengen could cause an upset. Like people have changed since the last time they've been here. Okay. And Abby being such a a well-known player, um, people might have done homework on him. Yeah, very true. You know, sec secret roundhouse table discussions, like how to fight Abby. Yeah, the question, the how you to fight Abby is who you hope and pray. Yeah. He sees the matrix. Abby plays very wild, yet it always works. He sees the frames. Yeah, he's, yeah he just sees into the background code. He knows what's happening before you even press it. Like, he, he'll see an action, and he'll know every single option you have after that, and he'll make the right decision. Yes. Very true. Oh, are we seeing an Alco? I think it's Bun Check. Oh, Bun Check. This, this has to be Bun Check. I was about to get really hyped. But well, if you do start playing, then you know. Whatever. <laughs> we like to have fun during blind checks. Alright, so back to your. Schedule programming. Regular schedule program. No Alco, unfortunately. No Alco. Um, bottom tier. Bottom bottom tier, but fun. Fun, but fun. Yeah. Now we're going to the top tiers. Top tiers. A actually, top two. <laughs> actually, top two characters. All right, both running Wilhelmina. This will be a fun, interesting both game. Both running Wilhelmina. This will be definitely be very interesting. Penguin a bit more reckless on his offense, and a bit also on defense. We'll see how he does against Abby. Oh, there we go, 2AB immediately. Right, I call Wilhelmina. Call Wilhelmina, let's go. Abby also uses jump. And gets cooked on. Gets cooked, gets cooked, gets cooked low. Oh, left, right time. Oh, just same side. Same side, get the max. Oh no, he oh. missed it, he could have killed right there. Oh, he went for the 5 air unblockable. Air unblockable. I know, now, this is a one touch situation for both, both, both of them. One touch. Oh no, he had he had escape blast. There we oh, go. Oh, the grab. Just run him grab. If Ultra Kill wins this, this will be a huge upset. This will be a very huge upset because he was the previous winner and arguably the top player in North America. Yes. I guess the Grand Blue might not be a good idea for Abby. Yeah, maybe Abby should have um, just dropped off Grand Blue. Oh, didn't get the push block punish for that. And Abby was playing a lot of um. Oh, Lumina, grabs so. the Trump, got the read down. All right, nice back dash on Abby. Smart. Oh, nice 2AB to avoid nice Wilhelmina. Wow, very good play from... I'll try to air dash. I miss it just slightly. And only some characters in this game have air dash, and, you know, top two, of course, going to have the air dash. Gets the knockdown. Is it going to burn Trump oh, in this round? Or he's going to preserve it for the um, round three? Abby does have to have an uphill battle here. But one good hit. This oh, no. is, oh, this is death. Yeah, he, he did a charge version because he wanted to hit Abby oh, blocking to I jump cancel it. Use the meter, but this shouldn't be death. Oh, nice. getting the grab. Nice comeback. So Penguin gonna have very strong resources for this third round. Abby gonna have power blast, so he will be able to build meter. But immediately gets hit. Oh, didn't spend any meter. I feel like it would have been a great time to just cash out a little bit. Cashing out. Oh, caught escape blast to get out of the combo. All right. Nice solid hit. Nice grab. Good, good for nice here. Grab. No, just try Fuzzy 5A. Fuzzy 5A. Side. 
Goes Brian to back into the corner. Back into the corner. And guess game. Guess game. Oh. Oh, nice tech. Oh. Just trying to guess the grab tech and punish that. Yeah, Penguin um, whacked Wilhelmina before she could um, get into her properties where she stays on the yep. screen and in bowl. Oh. Ram to get out. Ram to get out across spend, the screen. Spend two bars to get out of the corner. Both, That's fine. First winning Wilhelmina. Abby with the 2C to close it out. So, so nice adjustment there on Abby's part. I think Penguin had a really strong momentum oh, first going, round. and then Abby sort of like picked it right back up. Yes. And that would have been such an upset to see Abby lose to Penguin like that. Yeah. All right, we're going into match two. Match two. Oh, committed to the 2 AB, but he's far enough to keep it safe. Far enough to keep it safe. All right, we're going to knock him. Okay. Just 4 AB oh, again. Four AB Double again. overhead. No one sees it going. All right, nice charge from JC. Confirm. Right back in the corner. Same, same thing, but for a Penguin this time. Oh, nice tech. Oh, nice use of um, Yuki's special move to avoid Wilhelmina. A nice 5 AB air, air um, anti air. Yeah. All right, try, try to see if Abby would try and grab there. Penguin still has not used any of his trumps yet, so he could use one to sort of get out of the situation. Yeah, the situation. Oh, no, oh, he, he power blasts very incorrectly, and he's now dead. Yeah, very, very wasteful. You never really want to go into a round, losing round two with both your trumps, because it means yeah. you, it was a valuable resource you could have used to take that round back. Yeah. Very good. Oh, got the Oki going. Oh, nice 2 AB, criminal. Oh, nice, nice punish on Abby's part. Use a trump to sort of stop time and evaluate with the situation and punish with his Rambu. In bowl super. So while Pengen does have the resources for this, he just hasn't gotten the hit for it. And Abby is just continuing to lay on the pressure. Yeah. Continuing the pressure. Gets the knockdown. All right, Try, trying to get something going. Oh, nice to AB. All right, Wilhelmina. Nice hit. Uh, and just a kill. Doesn't kill. There we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. All right. All right, and we're going into round three. Round three. Yeah, you get a very explosive character, so um, any, any mistake could lead to death, no matter DSS. Outside of 4AB. Penguin has two trumps right now, so he could technically put himself in a very good advantage. Put himself in oh! Advantage. Oh! Romina saved him! Criminal 2AB. 2AB. And, and using and Yuki using her super does extend the duration of her trump the first time she uses it. There we go. Extend the duration. Oh. Left, get, ex, the voice of 5 at 4AB, 2AB. Uh, 2AB gets the Wilhelmina. Alright, Criminal Gaming, let's go. Can you go for a hard knockdown here? Alright, going for the knockdown. No, oh. he, he didn't do he, it! He didn't do it! Oh, the drop! That was it, it was over right there. Oh, this is so. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of damage. All right, what did he do? Oh, oh, he tried to 2AB. No, he it. tried to 2AB. Okay. Oh, that was... Penguin decided he didn't want to win anymore. Yeah, Penguin was like, I want to get out of here fast. That's very unfortunate. I mean, it happens. Like, I've been in that situation. I, right. I've dropped I things. mean, as you can see, they're both very happy. Yeah, Penguin is having a good time. He He's having fun. He's probably drunk. Very drunk. That good showing from Penguin. And good job on Abby continuing to move on. All right. Yeah, congratulations. Go. All right. So, very good. I think we'll move on. Yeah, one more MS before break. Yeah, we're going to break, break right, right now. now. Yeah. All right, how long is the break? All right, thank you very much. We'll be back shortly. All right. All right.
And we're back. And we're back uh, with the FCI. We've had some really good matches, some upsets. Been oh, a, definitely. Abby going to losers um, is quite the upset. It very rarely happens this early. Very uh, much. You, like, so Abby has been sent to losers at winner's finals. But never winner semis. Never winner semis, so it's very unusual. Um, we're going to see I, that guy versus Rain next to Quenther Mirror, which is very rare to see. Oh, okay, yeah, definitely. This is the um, this is for the title of Beth Quenther, NA. Yeah, um, I don't want to cut I, I, that guy out, but Rain has been putting a lot of work into Quenther. So who knows? We might see another upset here. Yes, yeah, to me it comes down to I, that guy just being a strong player across many games mm -hmm. versus Rain being a specialist at this game. So it right. depends on uh, how that plays out. And I like, and they both had the knowledge of this team, just, so who knows? Who knows, but we'll see. It's all about what comes down to meter management. Both Power Blessing, uh, Havia's. This is going to be a very long set. Oh, gets the Felicia going for the Missile Oak mix-ups. Oh, didn't get the conversion. Oh, this is going to be good damage for Rain. Oh, he didn't decide to go for it. Uh, it's probably a little too high. Little too uh, true. It does have the um, big beam explosion super. Does have, does have a max height. Rain's getting a bunch of these little hits that are adding up. I that guy is well within death range now. Oh, nice by B air blockable. Rain gets air unblockable, but I that guy has no meter to cash it out. Mm -hmm. All right, kind of keeping himself safe there, using Machiro oh. to like sort of keep himself safe and yeah. then use the grenade. Rain super jumping present. to avoid grenade. Very nice. Two C. All right, I that guy time. I that guy. He's gonna cash out, but. I don't know about that because he probably should do the power blast. There. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Oh, rain power blast back. Yeah. All oh, for Lacia getting the punish for rain. Rain dropping the kill combo. But now they're both kill combo like range. Very easily. I that guy might take this round. If he doesn't drop it, he's doing burst safe route. So this might be at this is at the edge of burst safe range. Doesn't go for the kill. Oh, oh. Nice class cancel. This is death. This is just should be death. Yeah, he's, he's not gonna let him use the escape blast. Not gonna let him. Just gonna go for guaranteed death. Yeah. So EX moves are um, unburstable. So Rain just kept it as a string as EX moves. So he's basically unburstable. Yes. Uh, does nerf the damage quite a lot, but in this situation with Spencer, it's more important that you don't get the burst. You spend your resources to kill. Uh, Rain with a very nice start. Rain, Rain has all the resources he can needs to win this round too. Yeah, of course. Oh, missed the conversion. Oh, got to, gets a raw Havia. Rain probably wants a little bit more insurance before he tries to go for a kill. He doesn't want to spend all his resources and then be lose those resources for the third round. Right. Went the brain. Oh, Havia, I that guy. I that guy is really low on resources. I think it's because I that guy is push blocking a lot, and when you're uh, ahead on life, you're, you have the life lead, push blocking takes half a bar of meter. So if you like the push block, it will really sap your meter. Yeah, and Kanter is a character that requires a lot of meter. Requires a lot of meter, so this is not going to be a lot of damage. Probably going to call Mashiro, sort of keep Oki. Either day has damage. Yeah, so this Rain got the hit. I'm so not used to Rain using this color. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I, I thought I was looking at I that guy for a second. Yeah, Rain uh, Rain's a big uh, heavy object fan, so he usually plays the default color. Oh Rain! Oh, it's got the drop. Oh, the double overhead. He's taking advantage of the Trump reverse beat. Oh, got the throw tech before Felicia came out to give Rain the advantage. Uh, he gets open up somehow. Oh, oh. try to round Trump. Oh. Rain power blasting to avoid the trump, getting to punish because Quenter's trump is really bad on whiff. It has yeah. such a long recovery. And using E, Avia to close it out. See, Rain repping his boy and his favorite series. Yeah. I, that guy, downloading it, trying to make the adjustments Pro necessary. Processing it, yeah. He's probably not used to the mirror, and even if he has mirror experience, there's a difference between other Quenters and Rain. Right. Rain has pretty much rewritten the book on this character. Like, funny enough, if you look at like the character primer, there's like two versions. There's Rain's version and like one of the top Japanese players' versions. Yes. And Rain has consulted with the top Japanese yeah, player yeah. to really learn the character. He, he does um, know how to translate Japanese, so he does. He has been communicating with them quite a bit. Yeah. 
Felicia, while not generally used at top level, is a good assist because of the missiles. Right. Full screen tracking, a lot of hits, really good at locking down the neutral, as we'll see. Uh, it doesn't lead to as much damage to Bohemina. Basically, we consider Felicia to be a less strong version of Bohemina, but she definitely has her own strengths. And let's Quinter be a bit more passive. Very true. Oh, Mashiro, the cats. The cat's one of the most oppressive neutral assists in the game. Oh, this could be death for rain. No, it's just short. Getting the power blast. Next hit is definitely death for rain. Um, I, that guy is, I would say. Ooh, he doesn't have burst, so rain can do optimal damage. Oh, he drops it, though. Oh, escape blasting. He doesn't want to lose this round. It's very important, especially in the mirror. Oh, oh God. Just run up Trump. Try to go for the grab. Trying to go for a grab. Oh, and gets the... Ooh. Catching I, that guy trying to jump out or uh, mash the button. Mash button, backdash, jump out. You know, yeah, there, there's look, some frames that they're jumping. Looking good for Rain right now because Rain can just spend this resource, this um, round getting resources for the mm -hmm. kill. All right. Just, just neutral just, here. Both just feeling each other out neutral because getting hit is disastrous. All right, first hit for Rain, and he has a ton of meter. He has, he has all the butter. Drops the combo, but oh. It's okay. Oh, this is a bad starter for Quinther, but this is still going to be a lot of damage because it is Quinther. All right, I that guy with not so much meter. Let's see. He's, he's probably going for Oki. He's getting what he can. He's going to yeah. probably power blast this. Now he has good meter. Oh, he got hit by cats. Trying to open him up. Nice. Nice. Doesn't really get much off that. Just kind of like a just nice hit. Yeah. Quinther does not have very good mix. He mainly tries to hit you moving around the screen. Oh, push block Havia. One of the strongest push block options in the game, in my opinion. Very strong. Just kind of tracks super fast and, and safe on block. Uh, not going to kill unless he uses Trump? Yeah, not going to kill. Um, oh, no, drops no. the combo. Oh, oh very bad. He should have... Well, this yeah. is death. This is going to be very death. If Rain doesn't drop this, this could kill. Yeah, it's dead. It's over. Oh. Oh, we get to see the heavy object. Rain telling him who's the best Quinther in North America. Very good match for my that guy, but Rain has cemented himself as the NA Quinther. We could have told you that, but... Yeah, I mean, we could have. Good showing for my that guy. A, a diff two different... Types of Quenthers. Very, very true. Yep. One, of the, one of them more uh, fundamental based, and one of them who just notes the game backwards and forwards. Yeah, one of them more like fundamental, more Oki oriented, while um, Rain's more explosive, like kind of builds that meter and then kind of aims for that like two touch. Yes, I would say that Rain's use of meter and him have spending so much time with the character for that meter, which is so important for the game, is what allowed him to really separate himself from I, that guy because uh, that like was the difference. Because I, that guy, every time he would get a hit, mm -hmm. it would be a good hit, but he had no resources to convert. Yeah, he always he always had to up like power blast or like just call Mashiro and it's sort of like some optimal damage. Yeah, and Quinther without like uh, one bar damage is very low in the game. Right. He gets really good damage because of his potential that gives him a free super, as you see that big uh, ex vertical explosion and that's a uh, super where you see uh, the girl uh, cut and flesh in. That's how he gets all his damage. Yeah. So if he doesn't have access to that and potential and a bunch of EX moves, he's not going to get a lot of damage. Yeah. So. Yeah, two, two different type of Quenthers. Um, one succeeded over the other. I think Rain had a better idea of the game plan with his team rather than I that guy with his team. Um, I feel like you know both teams are pretty good. I mean, I think Quenther Mashiro is a pretty good team in I would, Japan. But I would say um, Quenther Mashiro is probably, if you look at the overall meta, a better team. But Rain has labbed for Lacia yeah, so exactly. long. And it's not a bad team. It's just not like meta, but it's yeah. like it's the one below meta where it's viable. Right. So very strong. All right, next we're going to have Sugimori, also known as Phosphate, versus Tamaki. And this is a winner's final, so this will be three out of five. Yeah, three out of five. These are fun. Oh, oh OJ? OJ. Oh, we're playing the real games now. Yeah, so Tamaki, a big um, Orange Juice fan, yes. Orange Juice player, so... He is representing Orange Juice at this tournament. Representing Orange Juice, representing his uh, Azur Lane battleship. Yo, Penguin! Penguin, um, can someone help him down off the stage? Is, is he okay? Yeah, does he need assistance? All right, he's alive. 
You didn't break your leg, buddy? Yeah. No, he's good. Sugi Mori um, might have had a little bit too much, but that makes him more dangerous. You don't know what he's going to do. I, I feel like drunk Sugi Mori is uh, He's He's definitely a drunken an, master. An unknown. He's a drunken master. You don't know what angle he's coming from, but he still has his execution because it's just so ingrained into him. You're not going to know what he does if he doesn't know what he's going to do. Correct. You think he's off balance? Nah. He, he has his balance still. It's an art. I, I really want to know what Tsukimori is saying to Tama right now. I don't know what I'm doing here, man. Or are we, are we playing the Nyeki Kunko fighting yeah. Climax Ignition by yeah. Sega? <laughs> Which of these three monitors do I look at? <laughs> There's only one in front of you. Who's this character <laughs> named Miyuki? Yeah. Why, am I, why am I playing her? Uh, I heard she's top two. What are, what are my button settings again? <laughs> one time. So let's see if the Drunken Master can do it. Oh, he's doing the head shake. Oh, look at that sick button check punish. Optimal button checks? Optimal button checks. He's, he's already practicing his punishes. Yo, okay. We got the we got the hypest button checks in the FGC. Alright. So, again, we've seen these teams before. Very strong. Very strong Oki from both of them. Yuki just has to use her assist while Tomoka has it built in. Yeah. Tomoka uses her assist for neutral. Yuki uses her assist for some neutral help, but also her Oki. Uh, yeah, so Tomoka is probably aiming for the corner and sort of aiming for that neutral control. Um, Yuki has that in her kit already with areas to support it. So it's going to be pretty rough for Tomoka, I think. Very true. Until she can sit at that corner. Yeah. Yuki's buttons are just so big, so hard for Tomoka to deal with. But Tomoka has damage and set play. Easy on board. Oh, and wake up Ram uh, Trump in the Rambu. Very safe play. All right, since Yuki's in Trump, is already like in, moment in Sugimori's favor, in Phosphate's oh, favor. Oh, the shimmy. Oh, left, right. Oh, no. baiting the grab. Did, Tama did not bite. Oh, Iria. Oh, dropped the combo. That's okay. It's not going anymore. Tama has the corner now. Oh. Oh, got the hit. Got the escape blast, though. That's very good. Oh, oh. nice challenge. With the Catching the landing recovery from Yuki. Oh, this should kill. This should kill because this is a lot of damage. Nice. And he got the three-pointer. All right, igniting blast from Sugi Mori. That's the, the move you want to make because it takes you off of the red cooldown, which means that uh, blast will come back faster. Yeah, you so have more resources to play with. So oh, two AB. So what was a round that was in Sugi Mori's favor is now you know went to Thomas' favor. So let's see if she can take it back here in round two. Oh, push into the corner. In the corner. Oh, oh, missed the punish on the escape blast. Just just sending it with the two AB. Power blast. Oh, drops the combo, but this is. Oh, the best plus because of the plate. All right, now he's got to worry about fire, Firework Oki. Firework Oki. But still his turn. Oh, Super jumps out of the corner. Very good play. Oh, Kamalbach trying to, try to catch oh, him hitting something. 2AB. Oh, oh! Someone didn't clean their... Who, who's at fault? Who's at fault? Who's at fault? Who do we need to yell at? Who did it? All the pad players checking right now. Is it I, that guy? Is, is it that guy? It is, it's not him, it's not him, it's not him! It's not you, I, mean, that guy, it's not you! You're not the one! You're not the one. <laughs> All right, I think we're just gonna play it because it was neither player's fault. Yeah, we're just going to play through. Neither players have fallen, and they weren't each in a critical position. Okay. Uh, yeah, not, not necessarily a match they can really, like, replay. It's very significant um, to sort of keep what they resource that they have. Yes. The, unfortunately, this is the game where you can't just do give the player a round because everything carries over, and right. it's so important. All right, so oh. does have a shot here. Oh, didn't do optimal combo because that could have killed with the area, I'm pretty sure. All right, just trying to open up Tama in some way. Tama is very good at blocking, very good on defense, and OS is a lot. So, very strong. Sigamori so trying as to lame well. it out. Oh. oh, he could have got the hit. He's just trying to run. Oh! oh what a Tama with the run into it. This pauses the timer, and he gets the rope. Cute. Bow. 
All right. So Very good round match one to Tama. Like, so we were trying to lame that out, just play a little passive, but Tama was able to get that last hit to open him up. Last hit. Oh, Tama, Tama. Oh, he's sharing the trick. Let's go, Tama. All right, Tama getting some of that liquid courage. Oh, that was a little sip. And Tama losing it. I can't wait to see Drunken Tama. It's a trip. Uh, we, we, we seen it. We saw a preview last night. Oh, yeah, definitely. I wonder how Tomoko play looks like when drunk. Oh, the, the clash cancel. It's looking good. <laughs> looking good for Tama right now. Maybe he hasn't hit yet. Oh, I got the Power Blast combo. This is very good. Oh, I got hit by the JC. This is Ukumari's plan. He gave him, he gave oh, him some liquid. Oh, he missed time to... Oh, Tama's being very smart. He didn't let Sugimori go back and hit the bowl. Yeah, he, stayed, he stayed full screen. screen. All right, ends in the corner. Fun Into times. Trump. Oh. Oh, Dogro went the other side. Unfortunately, he was on the opposite side for that to confirm. Oh, double. Oh, that that was a play. High, high, low. <laughs> oh, nice Dogro. Dogro getting the um, defensive assist call. Oki calling the defensive area assist. Very strong defensive assist. All right. Doesn't get very good mix off of here. Oh. You, that's a very rarely seen thing about Dokoro. You can spend two bars and she'll throw you off the ground. Uh, it messes up a lot of Oki timing because it's technically, it's not like a reverse, same reversal timing as most other stuff. Oh, nice grab. Got the grab. Looking clean for Tama. Now, that's such a huge risk on Tama's end, but it does help with his situation. And it does a lot of damage. And if you're already like, near death, like it's fine, right? Yes. Very true. And Tama would still have a round to go. He would have resources. Oh, nice confirm from the jump C. Sugimori did not ignite his blast, so he is working on a cooldown right now. Oh. But it doesn't matter. He's, he's told us before, it doesn't matter. Sugimori, uh, I think, is dropping some of his combos. I wonder why. Oh. Got. Oh. Oh, trying to 2A B. He gets a knockdown in the corner. Oh, ready with his grab. Oh, simple 2A meaty. This is going to be good damage. Oh, I got checked out of the corner. A lot of damage with the area of Firework Boost. Oh, caught the jump start up. That's, That's so a good. round for Sugimura. That's Sugimura. so pretty. All right, just try to like oh, check on a 5C. Classic DFCI, you both don't press a button, fall to the ground, and one person grabs. Oh, very good conversion from Tama. I think that was like a push block in the Pyro Blast, just push him into... Into Trump, into Trump setup. This dirty setup right here. Command to blocking. Oh, the was OS and Trump most likely. All right, fun times to for Sugimori. Oh, Dokoro, defensive Dokoro, get him off me. That Dokoro very strong. Defensive area. Oh, oh, doesn't matter the empty though. jump low. Gets a knockdown. Combo blast. Oh, oh drops, drops the it. combo. The liquid kicking in now. Oh, this is gonna extend Yuki's Trump because that's her potential, which is very. Because Yuki has the best trump in the game. All right, just kind of playing a little patient. Oh, we got to deal with Volmix. All right, and as you know, both sides are on like one hit, one kill. Yes, Sugimori. Yeah, both because Sugimori has combo blast on end. Just getting that one hit. But he has escape oh, blast, so you know he, he can he can live. What, oh, what a criminal! Oh! Tama showing off some advanced tech to take that round. What you can do in this game is if you do your second jump and you clash with a 2AB or an armored move, you can jump, you cancel. Can jump cancel it. Yeah. It's very tight timing and you have to be on point with reaction. But he did JC, which has the longest time to do it. Mm. Did it. And Sugimori, I don't think he had Trump. No. He, he wasted the Trump to make that confirm. To make that confirm. Now we're on game three. If Sama wins this, he is in grand finals. Ah, uh, power blast. Got the able hits Tama. This is not good for Tama right now. Oh, oh God, baits, got baited. The, baits the five B. Oh, that's a cross up. That's very hard to hit. All right, all Four right. Times for fire here. Oh, catches Tama mashing a button. Doesn't matter if you avoid the fireworks. There's still more you gotta look, look out for. Yep, when you with Yuki, it never ends. That was an amazing round for Sugimori. He has both his trumps, which he can spend one for free next round. Yeah. So he, he could just round start Trump, and he'll be fine. 
Very right here, good. yep, like, ground like stock trump. Oh, Tama with the walk back on point for the prime set for AB. Oh, it's cross up break. Oh, that was dirty. Well, Flair just trying to like keep the other one blocking, trying to oh, keep their turn. Even though the ice mix, uh, Sugi did not challenge. Because that won't go away even if Tama does get hit, so. All right, Sugi Mori kind of extending his um, trump duration right now with the super. Very common uh, Yuki tactic. Tama with the blocks. When will it end? It's never ending. Oh, nice punish. Oh, no. Oh, but he uses the combo blast to stay safe, and he has enough resources where that's not yeah, a bad Yeah, unfortunately, thing. That's supp that was supposed to confirm, and unfortunately, was not, was not there. Oh, Yuki with her JC. Really good Abare. On oh, Tama being able to snipe Iria. Oh, this is not good. This could kill. Yeah, because then he has Trump. No, I don't think he did optimal. Yeah. Oh. No! Oh, he dropped it. Oh. Oh, wow. power blast to Trump from Tama. He's standing in the air oh. so he can push block and block any of his her assist calls. Sugimori was playing very cautiously there. Just He had the life lead. Tama was low on life. So if Sugimori didn't do anything stupid, Tama had to come to him. Yeah, Tama had to like apply the pressure. And yeah. Sugimori sort of, like, kept his kept check on all the possibilities. Yeah, very true. And it's really hard for Tomoka to get close to uh, Yuki, considering how big Yuki's buttons are. So oh, the stare right down. Momentum, Let's go. Oh, 5 AB, the gamble. Tama probably shouldn't have had some of that liquid courage. All part oh, of the plan. Power Rambu. Blast, Rambu. This gives good Oki for Yuki. Oh, Firework Oki. It sucks that Tama got that hit, but he had to drop it because of Fireworks. Yeah, because he didn't want to probably spend the resources to go straight into Rambu. Exactly. I oh, still got the Boldo. Oh, just call an area because it's a good defensive assist. It's death. Yeah, this should be. Unless he drops. Nope. No, this time he decided not to. Sugi Mori making or phosphate making the adjustments. I'm calling Sugi Mori. Okay. <laughs> Gotta remind everyone. Oh. Uh, oh, I, yeah, Yuki's uh, 5 AB has a tendency to whiff on the last hit, so if you want to trump cancel it, you need to do it very early. Yeah, I imagine he wanted to trump cancel it, but because of that whiff, he wasn't able to. Right here. Uh, because this, oh, that G jump low, that's a very scary setup right there. Yeah, he wasn't helped us, so he's trying to push block everything. Unfortunately, he could not. Oh, Tamo putting him in, putting Sugimori in the blender. I think Sugimori's just kind of taking it easy this round right now. Oh, got that Unless, hit right after fireworks ended. Power Blast, get some meter. Oh, Tama. Right, he's gonna go and take Tama this round. just taking the round, he doesn't want to gamble. It's not usually worth it against Yuki. Yeah, no, no need to save the meter. Like, you have Power Blast, you can get more meter. Yes. It's not the relatively even situations on off then. Sugimori has probably one more bar meter. Like, T Tama has two chances to, you know, do corner game plan with his trumps. Sugimori has two trumps. Oh. Hits the charge JC. Tama, luckily because Tama has an ignited blast and an escape blast before, his escape blast oh. isn't going to take that long. Got the trump. That's very good for Tama. Key. Oh, does the wake up grab to uh, punish Tama's uh, to attempt to mix. And now he's in, in the, the corner. corner, this is very bad. Oh, nice defensive uh, Dokura. Oh. Let's go. Very good. Tama basically putting him in the middle of the fireworks to keep Tsukimori at bay. Oh, oh nice Dokura. Just came Dokuro. out of nowhere. Unfortunately, couldn't do anything with it. Ooh, Ooh. Just a little too late for the punish. <laughs> oh. This is a very tense match. Both players are killing each other out. It's basically uh, he, death he, for each one if they get hit. So Yuki has an additional jump, jump oh, when she's in trouble. So he's been trying to bait. Very likely this is going to kill. He's going to kill. Unless, oh, no. Whoa, never mind. Oh, this I lied. is very bad for Tama. This is very bad for Tama. Oh, no. It was a little too high! Nice block! Oh. Tama doesn't have much else. Oh, oh, oh. that, that could have been, been, been death for Sugimori. 
You watch out for Dokoro? Watch out for Dokoro. They're swinging. Oh, God, unblockable. Oh, oh. what an escape blast! Oh, that, that could have oh, been death. That could have been death. This is very close. This is basically one hit away for both of them. Oh, 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 oh. shit, he used power up blast to give himself a blind bleed. Can't believe it. Amazing play for Sugimori using power blast because it, power blast does give you health back. Yes. So you guys you get just enough health back. Both of them were trying, really scared to approach each other. Yeah, and that situation, T Tamaki was guaranteed to win until Phosphate, Tsukimori, gave himself a, a little extra health just to get that timer lead. A health lead for the timer. Very good beginning wow. for Tama, though, but now he's blocking the Yuki area. Uh, electric Boogaloo. All right, knockdown. What's going to be the mix? All right. I haven't seen many of Sugi Mori. Oh, he missed time the area. Yeah. I haven't seen many of Sugi Mori's really dirty area set up. So I'm wondering if he just doesn't expect them to work on Tama or why he's not doing them. It, it, it might be a knowledge, knowledge thing. Tama might just know a lot of those setups. So he's going for something more fundamental. Fair enough. All right, jump. Once, once out. Oh, guess. Grabbed. Grab baited. All right, fun times. Oh, oh the fly baby went through. Because uh, during that animation, uh, Tomoka's hurt box goes away. Right. So she can't get hit. So that's a very good play from Tama to get through fireworks. What a criminal. C tier, by the way. She, yeah, because of that trait, uh, Tomoka does have the ability to punish escape blast if they escape at the right after she lets go of the ball. It's very dirty. All right, nice confirm. Oh, nice confirm. We're getting the knockdown. We're gonna have some Oki happening here. Yeah, no area here, though, but no. he's gonna put him a little bit to the corner. Oh, oh, oh I, I got the punish. I got was waiting for like a troll or something. in the escape blast. Tama checking with 5A. Getting the... Keep him blocking. Oh, keeping him blocking. Can you go for Trump here? No, Rambu. Rambu. Gets better Oki. Okay. I thought Trump was better Oki. Oh. I think there's some fake stuff with Rambu. This is a safer Oki option right there. Oh, gets the conversion, and is going to trump. Oh, nice. And Tama takes it. 3-2, amazing set. Very well played from both but of them. So Himori is not out yet. Not out yet. He'll probably he uh, he'll probably have to fight the winner of Abby and Rain. Yeah. Very, very well played from both players. Some really high-level decisions, fast decisions. Uh, Stressful to watch. Showing the importance of resources and how it changes when players don't have resources and they're just trying to not get hit by the other. Very tense game. Mm -hmm. Very fun. The crowd's getting hype. Everyone's cheering. So Rain versus Abby is actually a, um, a run back right. from their pools, actually. Yeah. Abby sent Rain into losers. And Rain almost beat Abby. Yeah, so it wasn't very close. So, so, so they, they play a lot. Rain struggles against Abby in longer sets, but Rain has sent Abby to losers in other tournaments right. before. So this could go either way for this amount of matches. Because it's first to two. Yes, first and to two, because it's still loser semis. So, so it's still, still loser semis. So this could go either way. You, you usually get very good matches from both. Abby might be playing um, very determined, though. He might be motivated, as they would say. Yeah. Abby tends to pick, um, normally he picks, you know, Shauna Wilhelmina, but against Rain, he usually picks Zero, sort of like as a counter, because Zero heavy counters Rain specifically, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Although I do think Wilhelmina is also a counter assist. Oh, yeah, definitely. So we'll see what Abby does. Yeah. It's just Abby likes to really uh, not be patient, so he just wants to call Zero so he doesn't have to care about Havia. Right. And Rain sticking with Felicia, going to training stage. Rolling. PS4 Classic. PS4 Classic. PS4 Netplay Classic. All right, calling, calling zero no. to start oh, like. Gets the air unblockable. Nice. Doesn't have enough. Oh, it gets. That's very good for Rain right there. Oh, got a Havia hit though. That could have been bad for Abby, but it's a little too oh, early. Oh no! Oh, he's using zero to keep himself safe. Very offensive play oh, from Abby right now. Abby using meters just to keep offense. 
Abby really likes to run these um, high risk, high reward game plans. Yeah, John has a character to do it. Because John has such high reward, but Rain's able to do the optimal damage route. Oh, 50%. We're going to see some Michael Bay. Gets Trump. I'll try to call to Zero to like protect himself. But unfortunately, Zero not coming. Unfortunately, time. Zero does have some startup frames that can sniper. Yeah, well, well, Zero is one of the fastest uh, counter assists in the game. It's just not fast enough. It's like two. It's yeah. like five frames, I think. Five frame startup for Zero. All right, Zero time. Zero time. Got to hold this mix. And that's that's round one for Abby. I think Rain opted to just keep his meter because uh, Abby such, ha has such amount of health that like. He had to hit a number of times. Yeah, it, that was just bring just outside of the range for Quenther to get the kill. And getting some meter though. Oh, empty jump throw, classic. Oh, tried to go for the grab, but still still worked. This is gonna be good damage because of Shauna. Oh, as you see, that's zero, making you have to hold it. You can't even press a button. Oh, Abby air dashing into the corner. His, uh, Quenther's 5C slightly moves him forward, so you, you can accidentally corner yourself against Quenther if you're dashing. And yeah, see so right there, Zero protected Shauna from Havia's snipe. Yeah. Oh. This is going to be damage. I think Rain's going to go for it. Oh, it dropped though. All right, this could be big damage here. Big damage. This could be tough. Oh, it could be. I wonder if he'll spend all the resources, though. Yeah, he's not doing burst save because Abby doesn't have a burst. <laughs> This is combo blast. This is gonna be on the edge. Yeah, he's gonna have to combo blast. Now it's dead. Oh, oh, he got just in time. Oh, and Rain had to spend all that meter. Oh. Yeah, I think as the combo start, you know, pers you know, kept going, lowering Abby's health. It's fast and like the cooldown on. Yeah, his Rain's blast. gonna just try to play lane game. Try to get get Abby, Abby trying to reach him. Oh. Oh, Abby. Nice oh, oh, no. Rain just trying to get that. He's just trying to snipe him with something. Oh, oh. Rain gets a hit. That's good for Rain. Got the timeout. Final round of, round of game one. Yeah, both of them are very good resources. Both 50%. Um, from igniting their blasts. Two, three oh, bars each. Abby two trumps. navigates over for Lacia. In the corner, got to hold this. Oh. Calling for Lacia, but Felicia's very easy to hit. That's one of her weak points. Oh. Oh, nice bait on the grab. Very nice bait from Abby. Oh, this is going to be good damage. Super. Yep. Shauna has very poor defensive mechanics, but she makes up for it by having really high damage and good offense. And Abby still has both his trumps. He tried to check something. Got oh, hit anyway. Rain. This is going to be good for Rain. He's probably going to power blast this. I'm right, getting the max damage. Oh, he's going for Trump, and he's going to probably power blast from the safety. I that somehow went through zero. I have no idea how. I, I guess because the impact's behind her. I guess. I guess you don't have traveling hurt boxes. Er, hurt boxes. Learn something new every day, right? Oh, oh my god, just the Abby special. Abby loves to just go in. It's such a strong move for her hitboxes, and he has he has resources to make a save. Oh, oh one more hit, one more hit. Oh, oh nice grab. Oh, grab. Nice grab from Abby. So that's one for Abby. We're learning something new every day. <laughs> learning something new. Yeah. Right, it's calming down a little bit for the down. next match. Calming down. Oh, oh, zero. We all love zero. Zero Except does basically no damage on heavily scales any follow up, but just the fact you can't, you're put in a bad situation is what makes you so strong. Yeah, you're put in a bad situation, and with a character that does big damage by themselves, it's pretty scary. Oh, I got hit by a 2B. Nice block. Oh, zero, just set and ran away. Yeah, see, no, no, no damage there, but you're still in a bad situation because you, you still are knocked down. Uh, in Trump, Trauma has the ability to whiff cancel her charge AC, which is very strong. And while zero did like little to no damage, like 
he's now in a situation where his next hit will probably kill. Oh, he tried to hit you from that. Missed it. Just the, like a frame. the heavy punish. That's a good starter for front there. Escape blast. Getting the first. It. Keep himself safe. Oh. I'm trying to have you. Calling for Lucia. Getting the power blast. Oh, this can keep. The, this isn't gonna kill. Like he has no meter, so he can just go for OTG. Oh, gets his by the two A. Abby, uh, you taking that round? Match point. Match point. Run up power blast. Abby's now has the meter. Oh, oh the, the, the follow up hit Havia, best boy. Yeah, so Rain's approach and pressure has been a little limited because of Zero. Yeah, and well, it's limited because of Zero and how big Sean's normals are. It's hard for him to get anywhere close. Yeah, like right there. Got to go for hard knockdown. Not a lot of damage, but gets a hard knockdown, which is not good for Rain. Yeah, you really don't want to stare Shauna in the face <laughs> when waking up. Very true. Shauna JA having the cross up hitbox. Oh, the fakeness. Abby's just running the train on Rain right now. Oh, that was going to say if I'd be unblockable there. Just playing. Rain just trying to stay alive. Oh, use combo blast to continue his pressure. It's not going to kill. Not going to kill. It's super. It's, it's too scaled. Oh, oh there, you know, okay. You know, That's you know, more damage than I thought. But um, Sauna's good. Yes. Sauna's really good. <laughs> Sauna fair and balanced. As you can see, that super does not have bad programming at all. Man, well, that killed me. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have commentators curse, but it was close. <laughs> it was close. <laughs> All right, and Abby takes it against Rain. Good play from Rain. Just Shauna is such a beast, and Abby has a counter pick. Who's their semis? Is it two or three? It's, it should be two. The semis. Semis. Who's their semis? Uh, Daddy had a third. Sorry, bro. Uh, no, sorry. Maybe next year. Maybe but good year. showing from Rain, honestly. Yeah, like very, very good showing. He he definitely cemented himself as the best cleanser in North America with that mirror with that guy. Yeah, so um, last last climax rerun, Rain was still you know a very strong player, but he had a lot of like fundamental issues like you know with defense and like dropping combos. So he's really polished up since. And he's always been, you know, he's in the Discord. He's always been asking for games like all the time. Yeah, yeah. If you join the Discord and you ask for games, there's a very high likelihood you'll be fighting Rain. Yeah. And he's very good practice, and you will learn the Quenther matchup, like it or not. You, you will learn proper re resource management because you have to against Quenther. Yeah, that's the one thing that's really good about fighting Quenther is because the way to beat him is to play the resource management game yeah. that is very central to how this game is played. All right. Um. Next, we're gonna have the Phosphate, and also known as Sugibori versus Abister. For those who are new, Phosphate sent Abby to losers. So, and Abby is, I would say, generally considered the favorite to win the tournament. So that was a, a slight upset. Sugimori, also knows Phosphate, is also a very strong player. Plays Yuki. Uh, this is the run back. It's going to be a first of three. I'm looking forward to see what these players have in mind. Same. Uh, Sugimori um, might have had some water. And might have. I wonder if he's recovered a bit from his hydration. He did have time to sit down and sort of, you know, Recover a little bit from his earlier um, actions. Uh, actions, yes. So I wonder how it will go. I wonder if Abby will change his assist or he'll keep with Wilhelmina. Because Abby knows several assists with. He has, he has Mashiro, Wilhelmina. He knows a little bit of shots here. Nah, um, he's going to you know, stick to his, his guns. He's sticking with Old Reliable. Been playing this team since Vanilla. It's a good team. It is a good team. And it's Cannon. All right, let's go. Game start. Sniping uh, Iria already. Very good. Managing Iria is going to be very important. All right, Sugimori with the first good charge jump C hit. And we get the classic Yuki combo. All right, Iria fun times. Is that a game jump? No, just 5 A. Abby prioritizing hitting Iria. But Iria already got the bowl out, so it doesn't matter. Oh, drop, get the drop. Oh, oh my god, just. Oh my god! Oh, Abby just sending it with the Gurren. Oh, fair and balanced character right there. Look at these criminals. Yes. Both these characters have war committed war crimes. Oh, the bull just coming down. This mix. 
Oh, Sugimori playing really fast and just managing to use preemptive all of Abby's movements. Well, that was a lot of like hectic exchange exchanges there in round one. Just a lot of trumps just to like sort of give themselves the other turn. Round start two and four. Uh, gets full combo power blast. Oh, he was doing um. Hey, bull. Yeah, bull setup. I was wondering if that was a left right or not. Oh, nah. All right, there we go. Gets the hit. This is gonna be good damage because. Yuki always gets good damage. And a knockdown. Always consistent. Won't have area. Oh, oh he, he wanted to like... Abby getting a good starter. This is going to be good damage for Abby. As you can see, Shauna can really pile on the damage really fast. All right, oh, in the corner now. Catches Sugimori trying to fuzzy jump out. And this might be it. This might be it. Oh, no. oh, never mind. He's getting the left right though. This oh, is it. This is it, yeah. Cone last. Super jumping knight. Yeah, this is gonna send it. Abby down one. One game. Looks like they're having a good time though. Yeah, they look like they're having a good time. I mean they've known each other for a long time. Yeah. Sugimori does seem to be a little bit better on the inputs right now. See so Sugimori grooving a bit, as you saw there. Yeah. Oh. Gets the Power Blast combo. Oh. Just... I'd be opting to ignite Power Blast in neutral because um, that way he can get some meter for when he does get a conversion versus getting a... Uh, doing a combo into it. Yeah, what a punish in the 2AB. Yes. So while normally you see Clash Castles go one way, Technically, if you want to spend meter or trump, you can clash cancel or clash cancel. Right. Move. Very, the window is very tight, but it's very good. Oh, got the double overhead. It's okay, just reset it. Did it again. Oh. Got hit by Wilhelmina, so Ira couldn't come out to finish the job for him. And nice oh. OTG to kill. Nice OTG, yes. That fireball does a lot of OTG damage. Abby is up one, has good resources, I would say. Opting to ignite blast to just get the meter he needs. Sugimori did not convert that. All right, instant Rambu gets. I think he gets a safe jump off of this. Uh, opts to go for a meaty. Oh, Ram wake up Rambu from Shauna. So he doesn't do too much damage. So for them, it's like basically whatever. Oh, Abby catching the landing recovery from Sugimori. All right, there's moment momentum. This could, this could be where the match ends, or the match continues. The match continues. Area setups. We're not seeing many left rights. Um, oh, oh, got hit in the landing. landing recovery. There is like five frames of landing recovery depending on the move. But it goes from like. Are you going to here? We're not. Trump. Oh, gets the hit confirm. This is going to be good damage. Yeah, not, not quite death, but hit after this will be death. Next touch is though. Oh. Unless you blast it. Unless you blast. Oh, got oh. grabbed. Ooh, Sugimori yeah. had two trumps and he had blasts. He's probably reserving them for those situations, but the grab was enough to seal it. it was one, one. It. one one. Abby's heart is probably beating super fast right now. Yes. He, he wants the money for his gacha addiction. All right. Power blast. Oh, just sending it with two AB. Oh, drop. That's a hard. That's a hard level to convert. Oh. oh, that was that was the right decision, but Yuki's a war criminal. <laughs> oh, nice, <laughs> nice jump back, but it was still too. too Gotta hard. love that move. Oh, dirty mix from Abby. Oh, Abby with the two B, very disjointed. Even can, even when you're fighting Yuki. Oh, Abby with the four A B. Abby turning it up the heat. Yeah, guy before Yuki can come out. Oh, Abby with the one hit into low. And Abby takes round one of game three. Right. Igniting Blast wants to get a resource. I think Abby's probably found his game flow he likes right now, so unless Yukimori changes it. I think he found out what he wants to do. Oh, classic. Love to see it. Double Power Blast. Up. Oh. Ops to go for the Climax Art to just get the damage right now because he has a bunch of meter and he's in power up. As you can see, that's a cool. Uh, he's probably being a Trump just keep himself safe. Apply pressure. He really wants oh. to take this round. Shauna JA hitting from downtown. 
Oh, calling with Homina. Oh, that was a really nice setup from Abby. Yeah, Abby's not letting Phosphate have a chance to like do anything like 2AB into Trump. But he keeps stuffing them out. Super? Yes. All right, so next hit is death, including a grab. Abby just laying up oh. the press. Yo, so that move, when you charge it, it will pause Shauna's momentum and it will hit overhead. So it's a mix up between empty jump below and an overhead. Yeah. Very well played from Abby. Abby wins his second game. Yes. So Abby if we, is on. 2-1 two, two right now. 2-1. If he wins this game, he takes the set. And then one of the classic Tama versus Abby Grand matchup. Finals. Oh, Sugimori making some adjustments. This is a very good start for Sugimori. Oh, he's going to go for the. He went for the left, right. Uh, so, in that one specifically, you hold the original direction that Yuki started on. Oh, no. Oh, catches landing recovery. That's very good for uh, Abby. All of a sudden, the momentum turned around. Sugimori. That doesn't have escape blast. It's okay though. He has he has Eerie and a Yuki. He has Yuki and a Dream. All right. No no Yurga for mix, but oh Abby just with the jumpy push block with punish um with two C. Oh. Nice tech. Oh nice oh. nice time on Eerie. He gets Eerie. Super. All right. Oh. This is gonna be good damage. Like, Next hit grab wins. Good, yeah it's. Any hit, a basic hit confirm will kill. This is a you just don't want to be in, and now he's dead. Catches the super jump landing recovery. Mm -hmm. Abby up one, he's on match point, or a set point. See, Abby really made the adjustments he needed. Oh, just gets hit, blocked by Yuki's JC. Big button. Oh, oh, and Gurren, the Gurren classic, has so many hits that I can just go through a bunch of armor. Oh, slight hits OTG power blast. Zugimori just he did three times in a row. Is this Street Fighter 2 Ken? <laughs> yes. Oh, they got the bulls. Abby challenging. Oh, air dash. Oh, Zugimori with the 4 AB, probably the beta low button. All right, your time. Oh, nice oh, grab. Abby with the grab. This could be it. Oh no. Abby is in Trump, so he has. Oh! Oh, he tried to call Iria. This isn't going to be death, but this is going to be really hurt. He has two Trumps. He can make something happen right now. Yeah, this is very, this is very doable this is for Sugimori. If I was Abby, I'd be playing a little bit more patiently, there, going Trump. for the timeout. But uh, Abby's, Abby's in such a good. Oh, oh he got this, hit. It's over. This yes, and Abby. With the run back, reclaiming his Three spot one. in Grand Finals against Sugimori. Amazing set from both of them. Abby really made the adjustments he needed from getting sent to losers. Abby saying he's nice. Nice. And Abby staying down. Oh. We'll have a classic Abby versus Tama. The classic DFCI Grand this Finals. Is, this was Grand Finals last time, so yes, this happens is, again this time. Yes, the two strongest players in North America, in my humble opinion. Oh. And it's facts. They're not. They're on stage. Yeah. With, like, you know, this bracket has basically all, like, the strongest players in North America. I yeah, this, this is a very, very strong bracket. We're only missing a few of the top players, but besides that, every uh, most of the well-known strong players, and some that were not well-known but have made a bit of a name for themselves. Yeah. Have, have uh, appeared. So, Abby versus Tama, the classic. I'm excited to see it. Normally, Tama's the one coming from losers, though. Yeah. So, so I wonder if Tama can take this because Abby has to make the adjustment. Although Abby, when Abby's in, uh, put in the losers, he tends to really turn it up. Yeah, Abby, Abby in losers is like a, you know, he gets that Zenkai boost. Yeah, he, 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 he gets that powered up state. He's in, he's like, he has his comeback. He has his own comeback mechanic outside the game. Of, yeah. I'm, he's down in losers. He, he's focused. He's, he's playing at his best. But who knows if it'll matter here because they have been, they have played each other Quite frequently, like they are best friends. They play their training partners. Like they play everything yeah. together. We might see some interesting mind games happening that wouldn't work in a normal match, but because they are friends and they play each other all the time, yeah, they, you'll they, see. They hug, they hug on each other. They love each other. They're best friends. Best friends. Give each other birthday presents. Yeah. <laughs> True homies. True homies. The wholesome homies. Watch out for each other when the other one drinks too much. Yes. Abby was escorting Tama back from yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> 
the best of rivals and the best of friends. Tama banking on the power of his Goddess of Victory. <laughs> All right, and I think we're just into it. Oh, oh, fake, fake. Abby, Abby knows this matchup like the oh, back Abby's of playing thing. Dokoro. Oh, it's probably just to help with the neutral even more. Helps the neutral kind of covers that that air that Tomoko kind of wants to travel through. Very good. Probably very good at sniping all uh, basketball. Uh, yeah. Setup. There we go. Nice. Tom hasn't uh, really gotten to do anything. He still has his blast. Oh, got the blast though. Gets him getting the health back. Getting some meter. Nice oh, confirm. Getting the Oki set up. This is going to be good damage for Tama. Trump. Get Trump. Fun time. See, that's a cool 50%. Oh, missed, missed, missed it. Missed it. Missed oh. it. That would be so good with 2C. Oh, catching Abby mashing. Abby forced to spend his escape less. That's very good for Tama. Now this is an even game. It was not looking good. Oh, oh. he got the confirmed. Not hit confirm it, though. Oh, but Abby doesn't have really enough meter to really close it out. He has a grab, though. Oh, descending it. Oh, oh nice. nice. Calling the Dokoro. I guess he's just using Dokoro for that Abare option. That's really fast. Oh, with the grab. Classic setup. Oh, baits oh. the grab from Abby. All right, oh, left, right. left, right, but decides to power blast to avoid the left, right mix. Sean's buttons are so big that it's so hard for Tomoka to work around. All right. The, the setup. Oh, Bates Abby's 2A mash. Getting a. Oh, uh, drop the corner. Ender. One time. Oh, oh, he tried to avoid it, but. Abby special, gurning out of the corner. Probably double jumped and got hit on it. Oh, calling Dokoro for, for defensive. Aid. Oh, Rambooing. Oh. Which, which girl is that one? Irie? Irie, yes. Irie, uh. Taking, uh, closing out that round. Oh. Uh, Tomoka JC, such a strong button. Such a new strong <laughs> They're both trained. Like, when you're fighting Dokro, you're basically looking out for the other person's Dokro and just trying to wait for it to be used. Dokro is like fighting a pro wrestler, it's just from the top rope, all of a sudden they're coming out. Alright, guess game. Oh, Abby, I don't think was expecting it to be that set up. I think he was expecting... Oh, got hit from Dokro from the air. He wasted his double jump. Oh, avoids the air unblockable setup. Okay, run. Oh, try to oh, fight the air unblockable or fight the air and tier. Oh, Tama trying to catch Abby, grab checking. I'll try to run under. Abby used charge jump C to give himself some forward momentum to avoid that. Oh. Tomoka, unfortunately, doesn't have buttons really big enough to, after push blasting uh, Shauna out to really easily whip punish. He's using Dogro 6S to sort of like stop any of like his assist calls. Oh, catches the um, grab tag. Okay, Abby still has a couple confirms he has to go through. Oh, late JA. Oh, he's trying to just catch him. Oh, Tama just sending it. This is just a that, kill. Yes. Our first game Amazing goes to Tama. Amazing decision by Tama. Amazing read. Being Thinking that Abby's going to want to commit to something in the air and just going for that air to air. This, this is the kind of mind game we only see against two players who have probably played each other every day for ever. For, for forever and a half, in my opinion. Yeah, forever and a half. Oh. Let's, see, let's see how they will adapt. Oh. Who will win? The, the, oh, the skill power skill blast or the OJ skill? Chill. Oh, gets the, Tama gets the power blast. It's looking very good for Tama right now. And both trading dope roll calls. Oh. Right, Abby nice, nice conversion from Abby. And now he has no meter. 4AB. Tama with the grabs. Going to do a setup. Simple setup. Oh, that is that is unsafe on block. And now he has meter. Try to run and catch him. Oh, got the Welcome grab. grab. Oh, that, that's a hard to see mix. It's just empty jump or low. Yeah. It's just an empty jump low, but hard to see. Yeah. 
Turn right. around for AB. Missed it. Grab setup. I don't know. I think that was missed input from Tomo uh, on that setup there. All right, trying to make his way in. And, at, and Tomo, he's he trying to open him up. 2A, hitting from downtown. Oh, uh, punishing the whiff for AB. Got, got out of the corner. Got out of the corner. Um, going for the... Uh, you have the 2A, Tom opting to escape last because otherwise you'll lose the game probably. Uh, falling JA, uh, hits for Abby, going into combo, spending resources. Oh, drop the combo. Well, Tom we'll hit, we'll win. This is, this is, Shauna and, ooh, just sends the Trump. Oh, Iri gets the hit though. Oh, oh they, they missed it, but it's okay. Oh, catches Abby just jumping back. Oh, escape blast! You got another escape blast though. Hit hit Tamaki before Doko can be active. Grab oh, and gets in. Oh, grab! All right, one one, one one. Just a lot of back and forth. We might be here in, in for a long one, boys. It might be a reset. Like it's very possible. Very possible. All right, That's starting neutral. out, just both feeling out each other neutral, neither wanting to get hit. Now Tama still has to get into his part. There he goes. Oh, he hit the power blast. It's super good for Tama. Tama gets a hit. Oh, just setting up the basket. Hey, it, unfortunately, he, he wasn't like he didn't have he wasn't at the right height for an EX confirming. He didn't have Dokro to keep himself right. in the corner, but set up. It's okay. He has mid screen. Oh, calling Dokro just as the wall. Oh, trying to 2C. Hits, gets, gets a conversion with Dokoro. Gonna go for a knockdown. Oh, oh escape blast is it? Okay, escape blast is Trump. But it's, it's, you know, still, it's doable, but it's a tough, tough hill to climb. Uh, Shauna does have the comeback factor. Oh. Oh, try, just try to do some sort of setup on, his, you know, on, on the air tech. All right. But the forward tech oh. allowed Abby to avoid it, and oh. it's set. All right, and Tama takes round one. All right, so Tama opting to ignite blast to get the resources back. Same with Abby, probably so that way he can make sure he ends this round with a good amount of resources. And escape blast if necessary. Oh. Try, try to catch um, Tama on the jump. Yeah, Abby opting to escape blast because he just doesn't want to give up the momentum. And he did ignite blast, so it's going to be back relatively fast. Called Dogro, Palmer. There we go. Also, Shauna's Trump does give her half of our meter, so it's very good for her. Oh, uh, resource management. I'm just kind of feeling each other out. Trying to get fish for that hit. Oh, push blocks Gurren, so Abby cannot Trump the last hit. Oh, Abby trying to get the grab. Oh, nice punish. got the punish. All right, this this is this gonna kill. Oh no, okay. It's kind of hard to tell with Shauna's because it, it does way more damage than you ever expected to. It's quite close. Okay, Tama, oh. it does have this up this around. Is, so yeah. Oh, this this who, is good for Tama. He's getting the setup. Oh, oh, nice jump back, Ja. Ja. Ja, so good, Sana. Abby making the necessary adjustments. This is going to be last round. And Tama really thinking about what he wants to ignite. He okay. wants to ignite character. He has five bars that I would agree with that decision. All right, nice 5B air on block wall. 5B air. Prior prioritizing with off the blocks in from Dark Rose oh, and 5S. Abby doing his classic, just one to 4AB. Those mind games do work well on Tama okay. when they play. Abby got successful power blast hit, though, so he's becoming significantly more dangerous now. And he has like nearly full bars of meter. Oh. Oh, nice Trump Trump's punish. Oh, that was nice. This is from Tama. All right, Tama's slowly trying to push him into the corner. Uh, just using Dokoro to try to keep space up and keep Shana away. Yeah, Dokoro, Dokoro also allows him to safely, like, call his, you know, her sis. Then I normally probably, like, snipe out with his own Dokoro. 
I, oh, check backwards. He's just outside the corner. So it wasn't so Abby wasn't getting properly open. Okay. Alright, next next hit just could do it. Calling Dogro to try to get the whip punish. Like Abby does have a trump and a hot combo blast on deck, so Tama does him. have three bars of meter and a Dokoro. Oh and a trump. Abby opting to escape blast to avoid Tama getting the knockdown and probably death. Uh, oh the whip, whip punish. punish. He, Abby see those, sees those frames. Oh, I, I mean, we told you he sees the matrix. Oh, nice, nice grab, tech. nice grab, nice grab, tech. Oh, got hit. Oh, the OTG, OTG for the kill. Two on Abby on reset point. Yeah, on reset point or in reset match. Yeah, reset match, say. not reset point yet. All right, let's go. All right. Tamaki now um, honorary Georgia. Yeah, Tamaki now honorary Georgia. Representing America. This is America versus Canada. Exactly. He's the favorite here. Got to refer a boy against the terrible Canadians. Five AB tick grab, getting the OTG for the extra damage. Oh, oh flash, nice flash cancel. Nice from Tama. Oh, oh actually, it's just that rarely slightly. happens. I wonder why. Probably missed base just slightly. I'm not as bad position for Tomaki, though. Oh, thank you, Irie. Irie carrying right now. Oh, okay. Almost there. Almost there. We can never tell anymore. Oh, Tama just sending it with the Trump. Abby just sniping Dokro. Abby oh. really just trying to police the system. Oh, escape blast. Oh, oh nice. Abby just wanted to bait that throw tech. J.A. bait on the grab. Yeah, J.A. hit so far away, Tomoki really can't contest it with anything. One of the strongest air, air A normals. Uh, it, it goes like two character lengths almost. Right. Oh, classic DFCI round start. Both Dokros just going for it. All right, Tomoki's continuing to pressure a lot, you know, using his assist and, you know, his team, Tomoki's, you know, just oh, kick. Oh, the trade in the favor, but loses positioning. Nice but hit confirm on the, on the Catches the landing recovery. All right, just defensive play right now. Ooh, on the whiff. Whiff. Power blast. We're going in. Both players don't want to commit too much. Oh, I've stared down and Abby pushed the button before he did. All right, Abby going to do the OTG. What's this? Uh, oh, tried to shimmy. Abby's really trying to catch Tama jumping out. I'll just try to catch him or just get out of there. Oh, uh, Tama with just the 2C. Going for it. Colin Irie getting the conversion. I missed should kill. Yeah, because he, he can't he can't escape blast that. Oh, that that's the point where if you escape blast, you're dead. Tomoka it, is literally invincible, yeah. and he will just die. All right, nice grab tech. Very tense. Oh, catches oh, a lot recovery. of damage. The two C starter. Very good starter for Abby. That's a lot of damage on the board. Besides the power blast, Trump using the privilege of Blue Trump against Tama. Oh. Tama just kind of wanted to keep him in the corner. Oh, back he, in the and corner he gets now. what he wants. Oh, right, gets a knockdown. Oh. He uses his own dog to get out of this situation. Oh, Let's I, go. I, I remember why Abby, he, Abby uses this assist specifically for that because that really messes up Tamoka's Oki timing. Yeah, I agree. Because you can easily do that 100% safe and guarantee the hit. Oh, that pressure from Abby resetting the bracket. We're here for another however many games it ends up being up to five. Yeah, up to five more games. Reset. So Tomoki made you know take his championship like title back. Abby took it from him a rerun. Yeah, they're very true. I wonder how this will go because Abby has now reset the bracket and that might be weighing heavy on Tama's mind. He might feel like he's lost momentum. Oh, got that two A. Uh, I think Abby was trying to mash a button. Let's go. 
Oh, oh nice 2C oh, on the land. That was a really good 2C. Trump? Oh, I got the Trump. This is good Oki. One time. You still oh, said no Oki. As we can see. At the expense of a bunch of his health, because it doesn't give you a lot of white health. But it messes up Tomoka and our pressure. It's worth it. I use an escape blast there. Oh. Dokuro just really helping Abby a lot in this matchup, helping Abby not have to deal with Tomoka's Oki. Or he having Tom to think about if he's going to use it. Oh, this and is death. death. Abby's really been making the adjustments, and he's now making Tama scared of doing his own Oki, which yeah. is what Tomoka needs to do. Oh, the 2A from downtown. Oh, the 2B, actually, from downtown. Tama just trying to zone, but Shana, oh, almost gets the air unblockable. Catches the landing recovery. All right, mix. Yeah, that's a good. That's a. That was a cross up break mix for sure. Gets the car blast. Irie punishing Abby. Two Dope Rose is exchanging. Gotta love the screams. All right, Oki. Never mind, no Oki. Yes. It's sometimes better because it does do a lot of damage to Abby and it takes two bars. But it's just a mental thing you have to worry about. It's, like it's, it's worth it to get out of the corner and take significantly more damage possibly if you get hit. Yeah, because it's so easy for Sean in this matchup to, like, Sean in the neutral is way better. Where, like, Tomoka's working the entire game to get that knockdown. In the corner, specifically. Yes, in the corner. So if you see that situation, you just spend it, and Sean is in where she wants to be. Oh, he didn't hit the push block tech to uh, punish the Trump. Oh, he was too far for oh. him to confirm. Oh, nice. Oh, Rambo. Punish on the 2A. And he's going to take it with the Roku bow. Roku boo. All right. I feel like every match we're going to have is going to go to final round. Oh, Abby with the air to air. Air dash. Oh, that was a whiff double overhead into low. That was a very good mix. Very uh, hard to block mix. Abby trying to call him out like to jump back. Uh, uh, Tama was respecting the Trump cancel way too much. Right, Tama's really just trying to get out of the corner here now. Oh. Nice oh. punish on the Trump. Very nice punish from Abby. Almost, almost death. Two A, two B. All right. Getting the combo left, right. Oh, punishes Abby, bashing five A B. I'm also, I was almost ready to say this is probably Abby's game, but Tama's really not letting that happen. Oh, that, was, that was Abby's game. Never mind. Oh, amazing like. push block from Abby, making Tomoka whiff for 2C, and then just cutting up that punish to get the hit. You can see it Tama's eyes how he's getting tired. Tama, has, Tama does say he doesn't have, like, when he fights Abby, it takes a lot out of him. Yeah. So it's an, if it's an endurance game, I definitely think Abby has the advantage for sure. Because he has to work around Abby more than um, Tama has. Then he has to work around Abby more, and Abby has to work around him. Yeah, Abby's creating situations for Tomoka to deal with oh, in this matchup. And he even has more of a mental stack because of Dokuro assist. Yes. Yeah. So it's just being very mentally taxing on Tama, and that's an important factor in these longer sets. Oh, JC from downtown. A left, right, 4AB. Safe, though. Oh, that I did not block that. I will tell you that much. Super. Yes. He wants to get that damage in. Wants to push at much much with Tom in the corner. Oh, the JA stuffing. That's still going to keep him safe. Wanting to get the center screen. Oh, Irie. It's a lot of full screen trading here. Very much so. Oh, Ooh, no. oh, oh, the Trump. Ooh, Tama takes the round. Uh, there's a bit of a scramble there, but bit of know, a scramble, it worked but, out in Tama's favor. But like red Trumps are really good in that scandal situation because someone's trying to press a button and you'll just hit them. Oh. oh, the whiff punish from Tama. Really good spacing from Tama there. 
Oh, Abby pressing buttons. Abby just going for it, trying to get Thomas to stop calling all uh, his uh, teammates for the basketball assists. Power Blast going in. Oh, Tama was being a little bit too defensive, and Abby's just going to take advantage of this and get the knockdown and the damage. And also build back some of his uh, burst gauge. 2A, all just missed him with punish. And calling Dunkro to make the assist call, the um, basket call save. Nice grab. Oh, that, oh, that almost converted entirely. Tama blocking all these double overheads. Very impressive. Very hard to block. Oh, oh nice, nice, nice delayed defense. air dash for the overhead of Dama block. Very difficult again. I mean, escape blast. You're trying to keep Tama yeah. in the corner. Yeah, in this game, air dashes are not universal, so Shauna having one makes her have mix-ups that are not normal. Oh, oh, Kill. this is death. Oh, I'm like 90% sure this is death. Yes, this is death. 1-1. Right, 1-1. One, one. One, one. We in for the long haul. We're in for the long haul. <laughs> Very good matches, though. These are, this is like the best DFCI you can watch right now. Yes, for sure. In North America. In North America. Oh. Got the air to air. Calls, gets a safe. Hits Dokoro, getting the Oki. Calling rainbows. It's a good time, Tomoka. Once again, setting up the left, right. Oh, got the low, but checked out weirdly. Abby trying to get the air unblockable. Oh, out of the stare down. Abby delayed mash. Oh, the double overhead going for the triple. He's in Trump, so he's going to do triple overheads or quadruple overhead setups. And he, I mean, by Abby. Oh, whip. Oh, that's a huge whip. In the corner? Where Tom wants to be? Ooh. Oh. And he's one. Abby, uh, Tama was trying to bait it earlier, but then it didn't come out. So he started doing a setup, and then Tama, and then Abby did it. That was a really good play from Abby. And that gave Abby the round. Yeah, gave Abby the round. You can see that's how much stack that assist is putting on Tama. It messes up what he wants to do. Oh, great landing recovery punish from Tamaki. All right, keeping his pressure going. Oh, uh, 2A, delay 2A, catching mash. Not necessarily in the corner yet, but. Oh, Ooh, oh nice Abby punish. sending it with 5AB. Tama just assigned the block. Doesn't want to get caught by Shauna. Oh, air to air JC, beating the 4AB. Try to catch him on the landing recovery there. Oh, uh, open him up successfully. In the corner, looking kind of dicey for Tama Keith. Trying to catch Tama pushing a button somehow. Trump to make the 5 AB safe. Oh, uh, low. Oh, Ooh. catches the bait with the Trump. Oh, nice punish. That's nice bait on 2 AB. Or probably got a confront oh, there. Oh, got the low from the cross up. All right, game two goes to Abby. This, two this could back. be it. This could be the last Back match. and forth, back and forth. Will this be like uh, before the reset where Abby just takes it away? Maybe. With these two in a row? Very possible. All right, let's see how they let's see how Tamaki adjusts. Oh, power blast! Really good start for Tama. Unfortunately, oh. the the setup was not quite right there on top of Abby. Unfortunately. Now that button's going in Abby's favor. Abby really pushing Tama to the corner, and then put himself in the corner, and took himself out oh, of the corner. Air to air calls Dokoro, getting a knockdown. It's a battle for the corner. Uh, getting his good setup. Nice hit. Oh, oh missed to confirm, though. Missed to confirm. That's huge. Dokoro to Dokoro. Oh, JC covering on the cap screen. Nice dagger from Abby. All right. Oh, Dokoro whiff, but it was still scary enough to Ooh, press button in that situation. Tom Blast trying to catch Tom and trying to hit something. All oh, air dash. All oh, 2 AB traded with Abby's air button. Tama does not want to spend another trump in this round. 
Oh, because it's really good damage, even though it could win some situations. Just for the future proof. Uh, Abby trying to catch Tama pushing something. Oh, Tama. Oh, that was delayed. I was wondering if that was going to hit. This might not kill. No, it yeah. didn't. He needed more meter. Yeah, it was off grab, so. Oh. This he, is going to die. He's going to die. Yeah, he used a second trump just to seal, seal that round, so. Oh, that's very dicey for Abby because he won't have trump in this next round. Mashana's a character who can do it without it. Very true. Just loses the dumbest parts about her kit. Yeah, loses the dumbest parts, but still has very strong parts of her general kit. Although, Chana's defense is incredibly weak without Trump. Yes. Granted, he does have Dokoro, which really helps throw up Tama's setups. He still has, he's still able to make Tama work, and that's kind of his goal here. He wants to make Tama work for it. Really just wants that Tama to think about as many things as he can. Alright, Tom has a corner. Good, to, good for him. Oh, oh. The oh, no, Abby just... 5 Chana 5A, good anti air. Alright. JC, calling Dogro to get the advantage. While trying to bait a button. Oh, JC reaching like three times. Yeah, so this is where it gets rough. So now Tomaki has to make a decision. He, he doesn't want to spend his resources quite yet, and Abby's trying to make him waste as much as he can. Yes. Well, Aiming for a, this round is a going win. very much how Abby would want it. Even. Ooh, escape oh, escape blast! Oh. And this is going to be going to final round of this match. So Abby tried to escape blast there, but Tomaki's combo blast, power blast actually. What, was it power blast? I think it was going for a power blast setup, but Tom oh, and Abby did it. So that was like perfect. It happened so fast. Oh, the, the run up to a. Tama was probably trying guessing the grab there. Guess that for Dokoro call? Yep. Yes, the classic. Oh, this is going to be huge. Not as huge. Abby has a blast and he has a trump. Oh, this could be it. No, it's Except not. Except for Dokoro? But this, oh, I didn't get the Dokoro. Oh, oh he, trumps. He, he tried to catch a whiff, but trump went over it. Wow. Oh, and Working Abby for... Sir takes it. Abby Sir is your Climax 2021 champion. Continues well, to, keeps his title as champion of Climax yeah. tonight. From the loser's bracket. Well yes. played by both of them. Very good matches. Very happy to see a lot of high level um, DFC. Um, a, lot a lot of players leveled up. Yeah, a lot um, of players have leveled up. A lot of old people, a lot of the OGs have come back and started playing more. A lot of new people playing the game. It's a very good time to be playing.